Ah, uh, TV man, this is the best show in the whole entire world. Black Street for 24 hours is my favorite. Yeah, we literally watch this show all the time. It is literally the best show in the world. Yeah, it sure is, bro. Well, Speaker Man, after we're done watching this, what do you want to do? Huh, honestly, TV man, I think that we should go downtown and shop at every single store. Shop at every single store? Uh, all right. Oh, wait a second, bro. Uh, what the heck? TV woman literally sent me a Snapchat here. Let me see what she just said. And, uh, wait, what the heck, uh, dude? Look at this. Bro, what the heck? Is that us in the back right there? Yeah, bro. What the heck even is that? Wait, what? how did she get that photo of us here? Let me go back here. And, uh, wait, what? That is super duper weird. Maybe she just photoshopped her face over a photo. Yeah, maybe she did because she is not in our backyard. Okay. That is very suspicious, but you know what? She's probably just pulling a prank on us or something. Uh, yeah, that's actually super duper weird. Well, here, I'm gonna reply back and I'm gonna say funny prank. And I just sent it to her. Oh my gosh. She is so funny. Well, TV man, I think we're done watching the last stream for 24 hours. Yeah, I think we're done. Let's go to the shopping mall now. Yeah, bro, let's go. It's gonna be so much fun. And let's go outside and let's hop in my brand new cyber truck. Wait a second. You got a new car? I remember your Lamborghini, but now you have a cyber truck. Whoa. Yes, sir. I sure do. This is lit. Hold up, bro. She just sent me another snap. Wait, what the heck? Dude, what does it say this time? Huh, let me see real quick, dude. She's being so suspicious. Oh, uh, wait, what the heck? Dude, she literally sent me a photo of us in my cyber truck. Hey, wait a second. Where is she? Dude, this is freaking me out. Why is she literally stalking us? Yeah, look at this. There's literally nowhere that she could be hiding. Everything is open land out here. Yeah, but wait a second, dude. She sent me a photo from all the way back here, so maybe she's back here. And wait a second, bro. Why are you serious? She's not even back here. Okay, this is very, very weird. But you know what? We just have to ignore it until something else happens. Let's just go shopping. Come on. All right, bro. Yeah. If she snaps me back again with a photo of us, dude, I'm going to get super duper suspicious because that is where she's literally going to be a stalker. Yeah, well, we are at the shopping area. So now it's time to buy some stuff. Yeah, bro. Let's buy some stuff well, first, dude. Honestly, I think that we should go to the salon and get our hair done. What? Get our hair done? No, that's for girls. Bro, but come on. My hair is literally like super duper bad right now. I need a haircut. Speaker man, you don't even have hair, dude. Bro, I know. Well, just trust me. Come on. Let's go get our hair done, dude. <sighs> okay, whatever you say. Well, I'm just going to sit down in the chair right here. And uh, wait a second. It's not letting me sit down. Oh, my gosh. See, Speaker Red, I told you. It's girls only. Bro, I can't believe it. There's not even a worker here. Yeah, I know. I think we actually just broke inside of here. Uh-oh, that's bad. Bro, wait a second, bro. What? She just sent me another Snapchat and it says, Boys at a girl's hair salon, lol. See, I told you, Speaker Red, but wait a second. Where is she? Hey, TV woman, where are you? Uh, TV one, get over here. Stop taking photos of us. Wait, what the heck? Bro, where did she even go? Oh my gosh, Speaker Red, this is really weird. She has to be pulling some sort of prank on us. No, dude, I don't think she's pranking us. She's literally stalking us. Wait a second. Yeah, she is. She literally done this like four times already. Well, you know what, Speaker Red? Come on. Let's just get some coffee and relax. Bro, what? You want to relax after that? Are you serious? Yes, bro. We need to just not worry about oh it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it, bro. But if she says it one more time, I'm literally gonna hop in my Tesla Cybertruck and I'm gonna drive around the whole entire town until I find her. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, uh, it seems like they have the AI robots working today. Oh, man. Well, I guess I'll just take one coffee, AI robot. Wait a second, bro. What in the heck? She just sent me another Snapchat. No way, no way. I can't believe this is happening right now. Yeah, you have to be joking me, speaker man. Let me see this also. Bro, it says, hi, boys. And wait, what? She's on a roof? Quick, now's our time. Let's go find her. Uh, get back here, TV woman. Oh, my goodness, dude. I'm my cyber truck right now. We gotta figure out where TV woman is. And wait a second. Hey, TV woman. Uh-oh, I gotta run. Oh, get back here, TV woman. Hey, hey, how do we even get up there? Oh, my gosh. She's literally so good. How did she get up there? Catch me if you can. Wait, what? Catch her if I can't? Oh, my gosh. You know what? I'll hop in my cyber truck right now. Hop it, bro. And we're going to catch her. Dude, I literally just want to get my coffee, but this lady's stalking us. Uh, oh, my gosh. Are you serious? I just flipped my car. And just like that, I think we lost TV woman. Oh, my gosh. Where did she go? She is literally stalking us. This is literally so weird. Yeah, dude, it really is. You know what? I think we're going to have to do something about this now. Yeah, but what do we do? We just have to find her, right? Yeah, dude, but once we find her, we gotta interrogate her and ask her why she's stalking us. Yeah, that's a good idea. Whoa, dude, I just came up with a plan. How about we go to some places and we wait inside? And when she sends a photo of us, we get out of my cyber truck and run her over and catch her. You know what, Speaker Man? That sounds like a great plan. Because if we stop at different places, she is going to stalk us. And then all we have to do is just run out and get her. Okay, yeah. Let's stop at this pizza place and uh, hopefully she takes a photo of us. But it's gonna be pretty hard for her this time. Yeah, dude, because look, there's literally blinded all over the windows. Yeah, I don't think she's gonna be able to find us inside of here. Yeah, dude, well, while we're here, can we get some pizza? Yeah, I'm pretty hungry, but I think 
we just have to wait for someone to come out and serve us. Yeah, dude. Well, hopefully we don't have to wait for long because I'm super duper starving. Hold up. Wait a minute. Did you send me another snap in a way? What? Two guys had six guys. Hold on. That's a photo of us, dude. Wait a second. She took a photo from right here. Oh, I'm going to jump out of this window. Oh my gosh. It's way too small, dude. We got to catch her fast. Yes, Mika Man. What are you doing? Quick. Where is she? I don't see her out here. Oh, no. She already escaped. Uh, wait, what? She escaped? Wait, hold on, bro. She's literally right here. Wait a second. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that really hurt my... Oh, TV one, I'm going to get you. Oh. Wait a second. What the heck, TV man? Oh, that hurts so bad. Why do you run into me, dude? I was literally out here looking for her. Bro, I thought you were a TV woman. You guys look the exact same. Bro, no, we don't. She's not as fat as me. Oh, oh no, it really, really hurts. Bro, okay, okay. I'm sorry about that, dude. I accidentally mistaken you for her. Well, come on, bro. You have to take me to the hospital or something. You just ran over me. Bro, the hospital? We literally got to catch our stalker. Oh, my gosh, dude. Okay. I guess since you're hurt, I will go bring you to the hospital. Yeah, maybe next time, don't run me over with a car. Oh. That is the worst pain that I've ever felt in my life. Okay, okay, dude. Well, hop out of the car. Let's go in. All right, yeah, bro. Well, dude, I think it's self-checking. So we can just go upstairs now. Yeah, literally everything is controlled by robots these days. So I guess we'll just go to floor two. And now you can go into your own room. So let's see, huh? Do you need surgery, do you think? No, I think I just need a bed. So I'm just going to go inside of here. All right, bro. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, bro. I'm just going to go to bed. And hopefully some robot comes in here and helps me or something. Yeah, bro. Hopefully a robot does. Okay, dude. I'm super duper sorry for running you over. It's okay, speaker man. Just be more aware next time. Okay, dude. Yeah, I'll be more aware. Wait, dude. Look behind you. Wait, what? What do you mean, bro? Dude, look at your steps. She was literally right behind you. No, dude. You have to be choking. How would she get here? I don't know, but quick, you have to find her. What are you doing? Hold on, bro. I'm gonna check Snap real quick. Bro, are you serious? Yeah. She literally took a photo of us, dude. Oh. I'm gonna text her and ask her where she is. So let me write, where are you at? Yeah, I'm gonna send it to her because I'm so fed up of TV woman stalking us. And wait a second. She sent me a Snapchat. Okay, here. Let me see. Yeah, it is literally a photo of her dressed in a uniform, huh? Where could that... Wait a second. TV man, look! She's getting away! Wait a second. Oh, I'm gonna try to get over there, but my legs really hurt. Oh. Bro, TV man, come on. She's literally running out of the door right now. Hey, TV woman, get back here. Oh my gosh, catch me if you can. I'm stalking you guys. Oh my gosh, and hey, TV man, you just shut the door in my face, bro. Quick, I have to get her away in a second. She's taking the car. Wait, what? She's taking my car. Haha, <laughs> boys, catch me if you can. Oh my god! I have no time to wait for the elevator. I'm jumping over. And all my legs. Okay, okay. Well, she left some wheelchairs here, so let's get her. Yeah, let's get her, but uh, where did she go? Hold on. She sent me a snap. Uh, and she said, new whip, bro. She took a photo of herself in my cyber truck. Uh, okay. Well, is there anything that you could see in the image that, like, shows where she is? Oh, uh, well, there's a building back here, and it's, like, red and white. Wait a second. Bro, there's a red and white building right over here. Maybe that's where she is. All right, hurry, hurry, hurry. I think we might catch lacking. Yeah, bro. Let's go fast. Uh, I'm so upset right now, bro. I can't believe that she's talking to us and she stole my beautiful cyber truck. I literally just bought that thing. Yeah, I know, right? But wait a second. Look. Oh, my gosh. There is my cyber truck. And wait a second. Hey, TV woman, stop. Ha -ha, boys. Bye. Uh, Get over here. Wait a second. She just hopped out. Chase her. Come on, bro. We have to confront the stalker. Uh, wait a second. What the heck? She's going on a Ferris wheel. How are we supposed to get her up there? Oh, no. This this is not good, Speaker Man. Bro, we literally have to hop on the Ferris wheel to get her. And, uh, TV woman, stop stalking us. No, I will not stop until you catch me. Wait, what? Okay, well, we're going to have to catch you. And TV woman, can you tell me why you're stalking us? Because I am your stalker, and I will never stop. Wait, what the heck? You'll never stop it? Hey, TV man, she's jump chaser. Hey, where's she going? Hey, get back here. Oh, we're going to catch you and bring you to the police station. You're going to get arrested. No, I am not. You got to catch me first. Oh, get over here. Oh, my gosh, the car isn't starting. Yeah, get over here, citizens of rest. Hey, get me out of these cuffs. Uh. <laughs> this is what you get for stalking us. You know what? We're going to bring you to the police station now. You're going to be in jail for the rest of your life. Is there anything you want to say? I will continue stalking you even after I get out of jail. Wait, what the heck? Speaker man, speaker man, open up. Huh? Who's at my house this early in the morning? Oh my gosh. It better not be that dumb mailman again. Wait a second. Uh, TV man? What are you doing at my house? Dude, something really bad happened that I have to tell you about. Oh, uh, really, bro? All right, here, come inside. Well, bro, what happened? Well, dude, it was very unexpected, but this morning I woke up and TV woman wasn't by my side. Wait a second. What the heck? Uh, what happened to her? Well, at first I thought she got kidnapped, but she was killed. Wait, what? TV woman got killed? Yep, she did, but I don't know who did it. What? 
but how do you not know who did it? You didn't see anything happen? No, I didn't see anything happen. It was like three in the morning. But thankfully, the police officer brought in some suspects. All right, that's good. Well, bro, I'm sorry for your loss. So just let me know if you need anything. Well, bro, I actually need you to do something for me. I need you to go down to the police station and investigate who killed my girlfriend. Wait, what? You want me to do that? Really? Yeah, because I need to work on her funeral stuff. Oh, all right, bro. Well, I'll find the killer just for you. And after I find him, he's gonna go to prison for the rest of his life. Yep, he sure is. Thank you so much, speaker man. Yeah, no problem, bro. So I'm gonna head over to the police station right now, and I'm gonna find that killer so it can get revenge on him. And, uh, hey there, Mr. Policeman. Oh, uh, hello there. What brings you here? Oh, I just came here because my best friend's girlfriend was killed. And apparently you guys have suspects in the back that I have to take a look at. Oh, yes. We have five suspects in the back, and you're gonna have to look at every single one of them and figure out which one is the killer. All right, mister. I got this. Well, let me go ahead and bring out the first suspect. All right, Mr. Policeman. And here is your first suspect. Uh, all right. Wait a second. Look, Timmy. What are you doing here? I know, no, bro. I did not do it. I don't even know why I'm here. I was literally just working at the grocery store, and then this guy came, and he took me here and said I killed TV woman. Mr. Policeman, why do you think this little kid killed TV woman? Well, because he is a suspect. Are you serious right now? Uh, well, little Timmy, apparently you're a suspect, so can you prove to me that you're not somehow? Yes, bro. I can prove that I'm not the killer. I was literally at the grocery store earlier this morning, and I literally checked in. And if I was at the grocery store, I could not be around TV woman. Here, follow me. I'll show you that I was at the grocery store. Uh, all right, little Timmy. <laughs> Mr. Policeman, I'll be right back. And now we're at the grocery store, and look at this. There is literally no one working here, because I was literally working here this morning, and now nobody working here. Because I was inside of a jail cell at the police station. And look at this paper right here. It literally said that I clocked in this morning. It does? Oh, uh, okay. Well, I can't really read that. But I believe you, little Timmy. Plus, I don't even talk to TV woman. Like, why would I even kill her? That would just be so silly, because I don't even, like, have a reason to kill her or anything. Well, uh, now that you're at the grocery store, do you want, like, some free food or something? You can have, like, a Hershey bar if you want. Oh, no thanks, but thanks for the offer. Okay, speaker man, well, uh, I'm just gonna go back to work because I did not murder her, okay? Yeah, alright, bro. But I really hope you find who the killer is because, uh, that's really bad, and I'm really sad that she died. Yeah, me too, bro. I'm gonna head back to the police station. Hopefully, I can find the killer. Alright, good luck, speaker man. Yep, thanks a lot. Well, Mr. Policeman, I'm back, bro. Wait, what? Well, why are you back so soon? Well, I'm back because I literally proved that little Timmy wasn't the killer. Oh, alright, well, it seems like the first suspect wasn't the killer. Well, let me go ahead and get the second suspect. This guy is definitely the killer. Uh, alright, yeah, hopefully Hopefully he is. And if he's not, we still have three more people to look at. And here is your next suspect. Uh, all right, wait a second. Mr. Old Man, are you serious? Oh, hey there, speaker man. I did not kill her. You didn't kill her, really? Yes, I promise I didn't kill her. Well, I think this old man is actually live, speaker man, because I saw him with a knife today. Wait, what? You saw him with a knife, Mr. Police Officer? Okay. Mr. Old Man, can you explain? The police officer is lying. It wasn't a knife. It was an axe. An uh, axe? Are you serious? You could have easily killed her with the axe also. Well, I didn't kill her. Her. This morning, I was busy chopping down my trees. And then the police officer came over and said, I need to take you in because you have an axe. And that was literally the only proof that he gave. Now, I can literally show you where the trees I was chopping down were. Really, dude? All right. And I also want you to show me what you were doing with those trees. What I used the trees for? I was helping build a house, dude. I wouldn't even use the trees for anything else. No, come on. Follow me. I'll show you where it happened. All right, Mr. Old Man. And this is the place that I chopped down the trees. And as you can see, there's literally no more trees here because I already built them into the house. Look at this. I'm literally building a house for somebody, dude. I did not kill your friend. Oh, all right, old man. Well, that makes a whole lot of sense why you had an axe. Yeah, and look, here's the logs right here. I'm not lying to you, speaker man. Well, I got a question for you. Was there anyone else working on this house with you? Oh, well, there was a guy that was working on this house with me. I think his name is, like, Johnson or something. I kind of found him on the street, and I just uh, told him to help me. Really, dude? Oh, all right. Well, where's this Johnson fellow? Well, he should be upstairs. Uh, let's see if he's up here. Oh, all right, yeah, let's see. Oh, Johnson, where are you? Oh, hey there, Johnson. <laughs> we just have to come here investigate because uh we're trying to find a murderer here right you say murderer oh old man what is this guy saying oh i don't really know well uh johnson it seems like you got some blood on your shirt so did you by chance murder anybody today <laughs> red paint oh did you just say red paint johnson wait a second red paint really yeah red paint uh mr old man what did he just say well he said that it's red paint and we were painting some stuff red so that makes a lot of sense well um johnson you can go back to work <laughs> all right well mr old man thanks a lot for help. Yeah, no problem. Well, uh, good luck on finding this killer. Hopefully, you can find some evidence soon. Yeah, hopefully, I can. And guys, I have three more people to look at, so hopefully one of these people are actually murdering. And guys, I need clues super duper bad. And Mr. Policeman, I'm back. Well, was he the killer? No, he wasn't the killer. He also had a friend there. I was kind of suspicious, but apparently he just had red paint all over his clothes. Oh, okay. Well, let me go get the next suspect. Hopefully, we can find this murderer soon. Yeah, I really hope we can. And here's your next suspect. Ah, uh, hello there, speaker man. Excuse me, totally, you have to be the killer. What? Why would I be the killer, speaker man? Well, Skippy told you, you're super duper evil. You caused all the havoc in our city. 
see. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot. Well, uh, I'm not the killer. All right, well, do you have any proof of you not being the killer? Uh, yeah, you can, like, go check my house if you want to. Well, all right, Skippy Toilet. Well, here, come with me. We can go to your house, and if there's no evidence of you killing TV Woman, then you'll be let free. But if there is evidence, we're gonna have to put you in jail until you're proven not guilty. All right, Speaker Man, that sounds like a deal. Well, let's go to my house, and I promise you, I did not do anything to TV Woman. I would never do that. All right, Skippy Toilet, whatever you say, we'll see about that. Here's my house, Speaker Man, but just be cautious because there is some stuff on the floor that I forgot to clean up. Uh, all right, Skibbity Toilet. Yeah, wait, what the heck? Uh, why are there poons everywhere? Uh, don't worry about it, Speaker Man. Well, uh, let's just continue through the house. You can look at everything if you want to. Uh, all right. Well, this is already suspicious. Oh, my gosh. Why do you have so many corpses on the ground? What the heck even is this? Oh, don't worry, Speaker Man. Uh, they're just Halloween decorations. Well, uh, you can check every single room if you want to. Like, you can check the downstairs and the upstairs, and you can, uh, you can check anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And trust me, there is not going to be a single thing inside of here. Uh, all right, Skippy Toilet. Well, I'm going to check down here first, so let's go down and... Oh, my gosh. Okay, this is super duper creepy. Uh-oh. Skibbity Toilet? Why is there a skeleton corpse right here inside of the jail cell? Uh, I don't really know, Speaker, man. That's really weird. I didn't even put that there. Really, Skibbity Toilet? Uh, all right. Well, I see them all over the house, so that's kind of suspicious. Well, let's see over here and wait. Skibbity Toilet? Why are there spikes right here? Uh, I don't know, Speaker, man, but here, give me a second, okay? Wait a second. Where are you going? Why do you have a mop? Oh, I'm doing nothing. Don't worry. Just uh, stay right there. Wait a second, Skibbity Toilet. Why are you mopping up that guy's body? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't mopping up anything. Well, uh, you can leave my house now because I did not do it. No, 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 Skibbity Toilet. I have one more room to check, okay? So I'm going to go up here and let's see what is up here, huh? Well, there's nothing suspicious so far. Well, wait a second. Skibbity Toilet, what is this right here? Oh, don't worry. That's just my safe. And uh, there's literally nothing inside of it, Speaker Man. You don't have to open it. There's nothing inside of it, really? All right, here. Let me just open it real fast. And there's a lot of money, but wait a second. Uh, what is this, Skibbity Toilet? Oh, that, uh, that's nothing. Skibbity Toilet, this is blood in a bottle. Why do you have blood in a bottle? Uh, I don't know, Speaker Man. It was probably from, like, some other guy. Oh, really, Skibbity Toilet? Then why is it in your house and your secret vault? Uh, I don't know. I was just saving it for later. Yeah, all right. Well, you know what, Skibbity Toilet? Nothing is adding up here, so I'm gonna bring you back to the police station. We're gonna have to do some testing to see whose blood this is. And if it is TV Woman, then you're gonna get arrested for life. What? Are you serious? Uh, okay, well, it's not hers, okay? So let's just go back to the police station, and I guess I'll just sit there until the results come in. All right, yeah, let's go back to the police station. I think you're gonna get arrested. And we're back, Mr. Policeman. I have some evidence against Skibbity Toilet. All right, perfect. Skibbity Toilet, go to your jail cell while we test this evidence. Oh, man, okay, whatever. Well, what evidence did you get? Well, Mr. Policeman, first off, he had a whole lot of bodies on the ground at his house. And second off, I found this in a secret vault. It is literally blood in a bottle. Whoa, okay, that's some serious evidence. Well, let me take that off your hands, and I'm gonna go run some tests on while I'm running those tests, you can talk to the next suspect. All right, Mr. Policeman, yeah, bring out the next suspect. And guys, I really wonder if that is actually TV One's blood. Because if it is, that means that Skippy Toilet is a murderer. And here is your next suspect. And I'm gonna go start the test on this thing now. Oh, all right, wait a second. Cameraman, what are you doing here? Honestly, Speaker Man, I don't even know why I'm here, dude. I was just, like, minding my business at my house, but I think they just had to bring one of TV Woman's friends. Really, dude? I don't think that's what they do. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure that's actually what they do, because they literally just walked up to my house and said I had to go with them. And obviously, I'm gonna go with them, because I don't want them to, like, be mad at me and arrest me or anything. Yeah, all right, bro. Well, okay, my man, do you have any evidence that you are not the killer? Well, like I said, I was just chilling at my house, bro. Like, we could go to my house and I could show you that, like, I haven't made my bed today. Uh, all right, yeah, whatever that means. Yeah, let's head to your house. And if we find any evidence, you're gonna have to be in the jail cell. All right, whatever works. Now, come on, speaker man, let's go upstairs and I'll literally show you that I haven't even made my bed today. They literally just dragged me out of my bed and I wasn't even able to have time to make it and now I was at the police station for the whole entire day. Literally, look at this, bro. I don't even have my blanket all the way up to my bed. I mean, yeah, that is kind of true. Well, okay, my man, I don't think that evidence is really gonna work. Do you have anything else to prove that you're not the killer? What? Are you serious, Speaker Man? You literally know that I'm, like, the least person to kill TV Woman. But, uh, yeah, I actually do have a little bit more evidence if you want to see. All right, yeah, bro. Here, show me it. All right, what time was she killed last night? Well, you want to know what time she was killed? Uh, I think she was killed at, like, 3 a.m., they said. All right, well, look at this. If you look at my sleep monitor right here, it literally says that I was asleep at 3 a.m. Uh, all right, bro. I can't really read that, but, yeah. I guess it does say that you were asleep at 3 a.m. So, bro, it seems like you're not the killer. See, I told you, Speaker Man. And you only have one more suspect to go, so hopefully that guy is the killer. Because if he's not the killer, then we're not gonna know who killed TV Woman. Yeah, that's true. Well, we should have Skippy Toilet. Because that blood in the containers are literally getting looked at. Well, I'm gonna head back to the police station. Thanks a lot, cameraman. Yeah, no problem, Speaker Man. See you later. Good luck. Thanks, and guys, I really hope we find the killer soon. I think it's either gonna be Skippy Toilet or this next person we look at. So let's go back to the police station and figure out who it is. Hey, Mr. Policeman, cameraman was not the murderer for sure. He showed me evidence that he was asleep last night at 3 a.m. And that was the time that TV Woman got killed. All right, then. Well, I'm still 
writing those tests on Skibbity Toilet's blood. And it should be done after this, but this is the last suspect. So if Skibbity Toilet's blood comes back negative, and this next suspect is not the killer, then we're just gonna have to try another day. All right, well, hopefully one of them are the killer. Yup, well, here's your last suspect. Crazy fangirl, please come out. Ugh, why'd you lock me up in there? I didn't do anything. Because you are TV man's crazy fangirl. And if you're TV man's crazy fangirl, then you probably killed TV woman. What? I would never. Wait a second. TV man's fangirl, why are you here? I don't know. I didn't kill TV woman. Really? You didn't kill her? All right. Well, can you prove to me that you didn't? Uh, no, I don't want to. What? You don't want to? Well, if you don't prove it to me, then I think you're actually going to be the killer. No, I would never do anything bad to TV man or his family. I'm just a crazy fangirl. Yeah, all right. Whatever you say. Oh, but it seems like the testing is done. Wait, what? It's already done? Oh, uh, okay. TV man's crazy fangirl, stay right here. Mr. Policeman, what did the results come back as? Well, here, let me grab the blood and let me go back to my computer. All right, let's see. And it seems like this is from the TV species. Wait a second. That is from the TV species? She's no way. Yeah, well, uh, let me see what color blood cells it has. And it seems like it has purple and blue blood cells. So, what's that mean, Mr. Policeman? Well, if I match those blood cells up with TV woman's blood cells, it seems like it comes to a perfect match, which means it was Skibbity Toilet. No way, it was actually Skibbity Toilet that killed TV woman? Yup, it sure is. This is TV woman's DNA. No way, I can't believe it. So, crazy fan girl, you're free to go. See, I told you it wasn't me. I would never do anything like that. Yeah, all right, whatever you say. Well, Mr. Policeman, now that we know that Skibbity Toilet is a murderer, is he gonna spend that rest of his life in jail? Yup, he sure is. Ha, ah, you caught me. Skibbity Toilet, why did you do this? Because I felt like it. I love causing havoc. Oh my gosh, we should have known from the start that it was you. Now that we know who the killer is, Mr. Policeman, I'm gonna tell TV man that it was Skibbity Toilet, all right? All right, thanks for the help, speaker man. Yeah, no problem. And guys, I cannot believe that Skibbity Toilet was a killer. Oh, where am I right now? Whoa, why are we trapped in a one heart together, Speaker Man? Did you make this for me? Wait a second, Camera Woman. I did not make this one heart, and honestly, that was your idea why we're on here together. Oh my gosh, well, this is perfect, because I have a huge crush on you. Oh, I finally made it. Sorry about that, Camera Woman. I am the one that built the one heart, because I'm truly in love with you. Uh, TV Man, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? I said I built the one heart. Wait a second, what is Speaker Man doing here? Uh, Speaker Man, how did you get here? Dude, I literally just spawn here and i got no idea why well you are not supposed to be here so uh get off the one heart come on get out of here oh dude i'm not gonna get out of the one heart stop it and you know what how about you get off the one heart i was here first wait a second hey hey hey, hey. <laughs> that's what you get oh my gosh but speaker man this is my one heart therefore you're not allowed on here so let me be with camera woman in peace uh well tv man i actually like speaker man wait what but i built the one heart for you well this one heart is nice but i really like speaker man yeah so get off this heart dude whoa whoa, whoa. okay how about this Let's Let's do a build battle on whoever wins gets to stay on the one heart. But whoever loses has to get off the one heart. Because it's only fair. I'm the one that built this thing and you like Speaker Man. Yeah, so we have to find some way to settle this. Alright, you know what, TV Man? That's actually a good idea. And honestly, whoever wins a build challenge gets Camera Woman's heart. Alright, that sounds like a plan. Well, Speaker Man, you're going down. Yeah, right, dude. Well, Camera Woman, what are you even supposed to be building? I want you to build me! Build you? Uh, alright. Alright, this is gonna be so easy. Well, Camera Woman, we're gonna get to that. And trust me, I'm gonna build a one-to-one -one replica of your beautiful face. And I'm gonna win this build challenge. All right, I can't wait to see. Well, you better get building. All right, yeah, here, I'll get building. Well, I don't have blocks yet, so I have to mine this lucky block real quick. Yeah, perfect. I got all the blocks I need. So now I can get started on building your beautiful face. So I'm gonna bridge out here and perfect. I think this is far enough. Hey, look at me, camera woman. I'm already building your face. Wow, you're making a lot of progress, TV man. Yep, I sure am. And my build is going to be way better than speaker man's. So oh, trust me. Bro, no, it's not. You're gonna see TV man after her head is done. I'm literally gonna be able to stay on this one black with her for life. Yeah, right. Whatever you say. I gotta start building the outline of her beautiful face. So I'm gonna make it just like this and I have to build up some and let's see. How many blocks down here? One, two, three, four. And then I build one, two, three, four up. All right, perfect. Oh, now I have to place some blocks just like that. Now I can build it over here as well. And this is turning out so good so far. And honestly, I cannot wait to see what it looks like when it's finished. Bro, look how small your build is. And it's not even round like a camera. Oh my gosh, you're literally gonna lose this speaker, man. You suck. Wait a second. Oh my goodness. Your build is like 10 times bigger than mine. You know what? I'm going to get rid of my build. I'm going to redo it. Just like this. Let me extend it real quick. Just like that. And then I'm going to build up like that. And how many blocks is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, perfect. Seven blocks. So I have one right here. And I have to build up one just like that. And now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And perfect. I made it tall enough. So I got to build over here real quick. And guys, my circle is literally complete. Uh, 
Figure Man, your circle's a little uneven. Wait, uh, what do you mean? If you look back here, it's really uneven. Oh my gosh, are you serious? What the heck? Why is my thing literally lopsided? Oh, uh -huh, that thing looks so trash. Do you think I have a lopsided face? No, 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 I do not think that. Well, here, look. I think I just fixed it. All right, phew, I was about to get upset. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, Camera Woman. Yeah, I still think it looks pretty lopsided. Right, no, it does not, TV Man. Well, Camera Woman, here, come here real quick. I need to see your beautiful face. And okay, now I know how to make it. It's gonna look like a one-to-one -one replica of you. All right, I can't wait to see how it turns out. Yeah, me too. Hey, look at this, Camera Woman. Wow, you're making a lot of progress, TV Man. Yep, I sure am. And this thing is going to look exactly like you. Let's hope it does. Well, guys, right now I'm building the inside of my face. But I realize Camera Woman has a visor around her head. So I'm going to have to build that as well. So I'm going to place blocks like this. And then I'm going to extend it by one more like that. And perfect. Hey, TV man. I bet you didn't realize that she had a visor on her head. Oh, uh, no, Speaker Man. I actually realized that. And I just built it. Wait a second. What? Oh, my gosh. You're such a copycat. How am I a copycat? You're literally the one that's losing this thing. No, dude. I'm not going to lose this thing. You know what? I'm fed up with you saying that. Guys, earlier I mind that lucky block and I got all these chickens. So you know what? I'm going to go over to this base. I'm going to release him on them. And he is going to get so upset. Well, here. TV man, I have a present for you, dude. You have a present for me? Uh, okay. It better be something good. Yeah, sure is. It's your favorite food ever. Oh, uh, okay. What's my favorite food ever? It's chicken. Take that. Oh, chicken. It's so cute. Wait a second. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> that's what you get, TV man. Hey, speaker man, that's not fair. You're not allowed to sabotage him. Oh, uh, speaker man, why did you do that? Well, did you really make me mad? Oh, uh, you know what? I'm going to give revenge to you. Give me lucky block. Hey, 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 stop it, dude. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, I'm gonna head back to my base. Please do not come over, okay? We can end the beef already. No, we're not gonna end the beef. Take my ketchup! Bro, oh my gosh, stop spraying ketchup on me. That's what you get, Speaker Man. Now, never come anywhere close to my base ever again. Oh my gosh, dude, okay. I won't come back for a while, but guys, honestly, after I'm done extending her head, I think I'm gonna come over to his base and prank him again, because we're literally in a prank war right now. So, you know what? I'm just gonna go down here, and oh my goodness. I literally fell into the Boy, but wait a second. I have balloons. Let's go. Well, this is kind of awkward. I guess I have to just fly up to Camera Woman's head again. And I made it up. All right, perfect. Well, now that I'm back up, I can extend her head. But wait a second. This is literally taking forever, huh? Maybe there's a way to make faster. it faster. Let me think. Wait a second. I'm pretty sure inside of the Lucky Block, there's a special one that can make this process go 10 times faster. So, you know what? I'm going to mine it real quick and let's see. Hopefully, I get it. Come on, come on. Give me the magical building wand. Come on, come on in. Wait a second. I literally just got it. Bigger man, what is that on your hand? Well, Camera Woman, I'm glad you asked. This is literally the magical building wand. So I can literally click here and then click here. And then I can press slash slash set dirt. And look at that, the whole entire ground just turned into dirt. Oh my gosh, you just ruined the one heart. But that is pretty cool. Yeah, I know. Well, here. I think I can undo. So let me do slash slash undo and perfect the one heart back to how it was. And you know what? I'm going to head back to your beautiful head. I'm going to start using this wand. All right, I can't wait to see how it looks when it's done. Yeah, me too. It's going to look so amazing. Well, I'm going to build up just like this. And I honestly think this is too long. So I'm going to mine backwards real quick. And this should be long enough right here. So let me place one black right there and one right here. And let me select a position. And then I'm going to select one more up here. And perfect. Now if I use the command slash slash set bedrock, then the whole entire wall turns into bedrock. And look, that literally sped up everything so fast. So now I barely even have to build it anymore. Hey, Speaker Man, look at my build. I have already made a one-to-one -one replica of Camera Woman's face. Hold on, dude. Wait a second. I forgot to build all of her eyes. Oh my gosh, obviously you forgot got to build her eyes because you don't even care about her bro what are you serious i obviously care about her yeah but it seems like you don't even care enough to build her eyes dude that was just an accident come on oh my gosh guys he's really making me mad you know what after i finish this pillar right here that i'm gonna head over to his base and i'm gonna prank him even more well here let me go down real quick now i have to extend this all the way back to the other side just about here now i can right click and i can set this as bedrock well my camera woman head is coming along so amazing but look at your speaker man that thing literally looks so trash. It literally just looks like a gigantic cardboard box. Dude, it is not a cardboard box. Come on. Oh, I can't believe he's saying that. You know what? I literally am about to finish it. Let me set this as bedrock one more time. And perfect. Now I'm literally gonna go to his base and I'm gonna prank him so much. So let me just walk to the middle and uh, dude, I'm literally coming back over. And this time it's not to give you some chickens. Okay, speaker man. Uh, what are you gonna give me this time? Well, dude, I'm gonna give you an explosive pumpkin. Wait a second. What the heck? Hey, what is that for? Get out of here. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, 
oh, oh, oh, stop hitting me. Okay, okay. But that's what you get. Oh my gosh, Speaker Man. Why do you do that? You know what? I'm done playing games. You better watch your back, buddy. All right, yeah. I keep on saying that, dude. And guys, that is a prank successful. Well, here. I'm going to head back to my base so I can start working on Camera Woman's beautiful face. And to finish her face, I have to add all of her eyes. So let me get the blocks real quick. And now I can start working on it again. Oh, boys. You have a few minutes left until I judge your builds. Wait a second. A few minutes left? I'm not even close to being finished. Wait a second. Wait. You only got a few minutes left. I literally just finished your face. And I still haven't even built the inside yet. Well, you better get to work. I'm judging soon. Oh, my gosh. Okay, okay. Well, guys, this is bad. I only got a few minutes left. So I got to start working on the inside. But well, hold on. I literally don't have any blocks to make the inside bright. So I have to go back to the lucky block real quick. And I have to keep on mining it. And hopefully I... Wait a second. Uh, TV man, what are you doing? What is that? Uh -huh. Oh, my gosh. Dude, what was that for? That's what you get, Speaker Man. I'm going to sabotage you and make sure you don't finish your build. Oh, my goodness. Well, dude, I'm almost done. I just need a few more blocks from the lucky block. And after I get these blocks, I can literally start making the inside of my beautiful build. Oh, here. I think I just got the light blocks. So now I can head back to my base and I can light up the inside. Hey, Speaker Man, take this. Wait a second. What is that? Ouch. Dude, stop pranking me. Ha ha, I'm going to make sure that you never finish this build. Oh, my gosh, dude. Well, wait a second. Where do you even go? Up uh, behind you, and I'm going to let out a sticky fart. Oh, my gosh, dude. Oh, oh my gosh. That stinks so much. I got to get out of here. Dude, oh, my gosh. I got to get out of here, too. Guys, you only got two more minutes left. Come on. Two more minutes? Are you serious? And he farted in my build so Oh, my gosh. You're literally pranking me so much. And that's two more minutes that I get the prank speaker, man. I am not going to let you finish your build, speaker, man. All right, dude. Whatever you say. Well, I'm almost done. But I need some blocks so I can finish the inside. So I got to mine this one block again. And hopefully I get the blocks I need. Come on, come on, come on. And perfect, I did. So now that I have these blocks, I can go back to the base. And I can finish up the inside of Camera Woman's beautiful head. Well, right here, I'm going to add a humongous couch. So Camera Woman, I can sit on it. And right here, I'm going to add a TV as well. And this is turning out so good right now. Oh, speaker man, I have a present for you again. Bro, another present? Let me finish this. I only have like one minute left. Nope, dude. I'm not going to let you finish this far again. Ha ha. Oh, uh, I'm going to get you. All right. Yes, speaker man. Come and get me. Uh, where do you even go, dude? I'm right here. Take this. Wait a second. Oh, my gosh. Dude, what the heck? You just made me fly. Ha ha. You are never going to finish your build, speaker man. I'm going to win camera woman's love. Boys, only 30 seconds left. Hold on. 30 seconds. Can you add some more time to that, please? No can do. Finish fast. Hurry up. Oh, my gosh. This is so bad. I haven't even made our bed yet. Well, here. Let me place that real quick. I got so much stuff I need to add as well. Well, the bed is finished now. So, I have to add the upstairs floor. Come on. Come on. I have to make a whole humongous floor. I'm going to add so much stuff up here. But wait a second. I literally got, like, no time. So, I have to speed around this fast. Boys, you have five seconds left. Wait a second. Five seconds? I didn't even finish my build. Wait, what? You didn't finish? Oh, my gosh. Well, look at this. I just finished the second floor. I got to add something up here quick. But, oh, my gosh. I think the time is up. And, boys, your time is up. Judging your builds. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, honestly, I think my camera woman built a super duper good. It looks like a one to one replica of your face. So I swear I'm going to win this. Oh my gosh. I was so busy pranking Speaker Man, making sure that he didn't finish. I didn't even finish my own build. Well, my camera woman actually looks way better than yours, Speaker Man. So I still think I'm going to win this thing. Yeah, right. Mine literally looks like a one to one replica of her face. All right, boys, stop the arguing. Now it's time to judge. All right, camera woman. Well, whose face are you going to judge first? I am going to go to TV Man's first. All right, perfect. You're just saving the best for last. Oh, wait. Wait, you're going to my base first? Uh, okay, okay. Well, uh, here is my camera woman. It is an exact one-to-one -one replica of your face, and I also have camera turrets outside to defend us. Wow, it looks so beautiful! Yeah, it sure does. Well, follow me inside, and uh, I didn't really finish anything in the inside because I was so busy pranking Speaker Man. But here is a bed, and a bed is basically all we need. Because all we need to do is sleep. And we also have some chests right next to the bed, just in case we need to eat some beans. Oh my gosh, dude, that stinks! Ew, what was that? Whoopsie daisy. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I kind of forgot that you were here, camera woman. Oh my gosh, dude. That smells a little stuck in my speakers. Wow, TV man. I think this looks so amazing. I love all the blue. Well, thank you so much, camera woman. I'm glad you like it. I give you a nine and a half out of ten. Nine and a half out of ten? Are you serious? Yep, I'm serious. Speaker man, your house better be better than his. Yeah, trust me, it is. Oh my gosh, guys. You literally got a nine and a half out of ten. Well, honestly, I'm confident that my build is going to beat him. So let's go to my build and... and Camera woman, welcome to your face. Uh, what the heck am I looking at? Oh, uh, your beautiful face. This looks hideous. What did you do? Yeah, this does not look like camera woman at all, dude. You are definitely gonna lose this thing, speaker man. No, dude, trust me. Uh, I'm gonna win this, okay? Well, guys, let me show you around inside. Okay, the inside 
that is uh, nice, I guess. Yeah, I know. Well, here. There's a little humongous couch right here where we can watch TV at. And there's also a bed in us. Uh, ignore the room above us because I did not have time to fill that in. Uh, speaker man, why is it so dark in here? I can barely even see anything. Bro, what do you mean? There's literally lights right here. You must be blind or something. Yeah, it is a little gloomy feeling. But I do like the TV and the couch. But pink is not my favorite color. I thought all girls like pink. No, dude. She is little camera when she likes blue. Oh my gosh, why did I not think of that? Yeah, speaker man, it doesn't seem like you know me very well. Well, guys, I know who the winner is. Let's go back to the one heart. All right, camera woman, guys, hopefully it's me. Because I swear this build looks just like her face. Well, let's go back to the one heart and camera woman. Who is the winner? Okay, drum roll, please. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Please be me. The winner is T. Man. Yes, yeah, I knew wait I won. A second. I thought you just said speaker man. Oh my gosh. I would never choose yours in a hundred years. What are you serious? But we're meant to be together. Please do not kick me off the one heart. Well, actually, I had changed feelings. I like TV man more. See, I knew I would win, speaker man. And that's why I built this one heart just for you, camera woman. Oh, I love you so much, TV man. I love you too. Mwah. Bro, are you serious? Well, Speaker Man, before you go, we want to give you a nice special treat. A special treat? Uh, okay, what is it? Yep, just turn around and look at your house. Oh, uh, all right, what is there? And watch it get exploded! Wait a second, what the heck? Why are you destroying my house? Wow, this is so amazing. Because it looks hideous. Oh my gosh, I just spent so long on that. Well, Speaker Man, it seems like you have to get off the one heart now. Hasta la vista! No, wait, what the heck? Ah! Oh, uh, where am I right now? Uh, oh my gosh, Speaker Man, we're literally stuck in a one heart together. Oh, uh, wait a second, TV woman. Did you build this one heart? Uh, no, I didn't, did you? No, I didn't. Well, then who did? It is I. I built the one heart. Uh, TV Man, why did you build this one heart? Yeah, dude, that's kind of suspicious. Well, because I wanted to have some relaxing time with TV woman. Because I'm really, really in love with her. But I don't know how you got here, Speaker Man. Yeah, me neither, honestly. Well, TV Man, I don't really like you. I like Speaker Man more. So, could you leave this one heart? Wait a second, you don't like me? Uh, no, sorry. What do you mean, TV woman? I literally built this one heart for you. Well, I didn't ask to be on this one heart. Yeah, me neither, dude. And I like Speaker Man more than you, so how about you just go back home? What? No. I want to fight Speaker Man for your love. Move out of the way. Bro, what? Are you serious? Fight her for my love? Yep, I will do anything for her love. Now here, take this. Oh my gosh, dude, are you serious? Hey, boys, don't. Oh, uh, that's what you get. Okay, dude, calm down. We cannot fight like this. Well, how about we fight a different way? And how are we supposed to fight a different way, Speaker Man? Oh, uh, well, honestly, I'm not really sure. Wait a second, guys. How about we have a build battle? Hold on, a build battle? Honestly, that's not even a bad idea, TV woman. Yep, whoever wins gets to be my one true love, but whoever loses gets off the one heart. Wait a second, so that means I could be your one true love? If you win, yeah, but if you lose, you're out of here, TV man. Oh, okay, at least I have a chance to be your one true love. Well, TV woman, what are we even supposed to be building? Well, since the day is all about me, how about you build my TV head? Build your TV head? Honestly, that's not even a bad idea, TV woman. Well, that's such a great idea, TV woman. I just love you so much. I just want to kiss you right now. Hey, yo, calm down, dude. Yeah, calm down, and you guys should start getting the building. Oh, uh, sorry, okay. Well, uh, let's get the building then. I'm gonna break this one block. No, I am, dude. I need to get all the blocks that I need to build her beautiful head. Oh my gosh, okay, whatever. Well, I'm gonna win this thing, Speaker Man. You're going down. You're gonna get off this one heart once and for all. Yeah, right. Right, bucko. Well, I think I just got all the blocks I need, so let me see. I got my black blocks, my gray block, and my white block. So, TV woman, now I'm gonna start building your head, and you know what? I'm also gonna build the inside of your head, and I'm gonna make it awesome. Okay, I can't wait to see. Yeah, me too. Well, here, let me get started. So, what I have to do is battle super duper far like this, because her head is gonna be massive, just like the beautiful one she has right now. And honestly, I think this is a good enough length right here, actually. Uh, no, here, I'll be shorter than some just like this. And perfect. Now, I can build out some just like that. And this is only the start of the head is just the base right now. But I'm gonna have to build the whole entire head after this and even the inside. Well, here, the base is done, so now I gotta fill in the floor real quick so I don't fall into the void because I really do not want to lose this challenge. Well, Speaker Man, you're gonna lose anyways. Boy, stop fighting! No, I won't stop fighting until I get your love, TV woman. And Speaker Man, you better watch your back. <laughs> uh, dude, what do you mean by that? Oh, uh, nothing, nothing. Alright, guys, that was kind of suspicious. You literally told me to watch my back. Hopefully, he does nothing bad. Well, here, I almost finished my floor, so now now that I've finished the floor, I can literally move on to the walls of the head. And her head is gonna look so amazing. Okay, okay. Well, but now let's get started. So I'm gonna build up just like this, and it's gonna be super duper tall. And then I have to outline the head again. Wait, why? I just fell. Oh my gosh. Well, here, let me go up again. 
Now I'm just going to build straight just like this. And perfect. One side of the outline is complete. Oh, speaker man. Wow, your TV is looking really amazing so far. Wait a second. Is it really? Thanks a lot, TV man. Yeah, no problem. Well, uh, I have a surprise for you. Do you want it? No way. A surprise? Are you serious? Oh, yeah, sure. All right. Well, look at this. Take my ketchup. Oh, oh. dude. What the heck? Why are you spraying ketchup all over me? Hey, stop it, boys. No ketchup words allowed. Get over here, speaker man. Oh, dude. Are you serious? You literally didn't even start building your TV head yet, and I just ran into the void. Oh, my gosh. You just got pranked. Uh, you boys are so childish. Yeah, TV man really is. You know what? I'm going to get you back. Trust me. Yeah, whatever you say, speaker man. Well, I'm just going to head back to my base real quick, and guys, soon after I finish outlining all these walls, and I think I'm going to go over and prank him. It's going to be so insane. Well, here, let me build a pillar up real quick. And, huh, I think this is tall enough. So let me build over just like this. And now I got to go over to the right and build just like this as well. And perfect. The outline of TV Woman's beautiful head is complete. So here, let me build over to the middle again. I have to keep on mining the lucky block until I get something to prank him with. So let's see, huh? What do I have? Wait a second. I think I just got the best prank item ever. I literally just got chickens. So you know what? Okay. I'm just going to walk to this base real quick. And, uh, Honestly, dude, I don't want to fight with you anymore. You don't want to fight with me? Watch well, your dough. So that's why I brought over a peace treaty. A peace treaty? Uh, okay, what is it? Well, come down here and see, dude. Uh, all right. It better not be anything that you're trying to prank me with. No, it sure isn't. Well, here. It is a chicken. Okay, here we go. A chicken? Wait a second. Uh, what's happening to me? Uh, there's a chicken chasing me. Oh, my gosh. That is what you get, dude. Hey, why do you do this? Hey, get away from me. Ah! Chickens attack, TV man. No, stop attacking me. I'm literally going to die. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Ah! Wait a second. No, chicken. Stop it. Oh, my gosh. TV woman, my beloved. I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. What did you just do, speaker man? You guys better be sorry. You literally just killed me. Yeah, get these chickens away. Bro, chicken, stop it. Oh, my gosh. These chickens are crazy. Yeah, they sure are. Hey, TV man, you just killed me. Oh, my gosh, speaker man. You literally ruined everything good. Bro, you started it. Well, you literally just killed TV woman, dude. Well, actually, no, I didn't, dude. The chicken's dead. Yeah, whatever you say. Get out of here, speaker man. Hey, what the heck was that? Did he just strike me with lightning? Yep, I Sure did. And you better be prepared because this isn't over. All right, dude, whatever you say. Well, guys, I'm going to get back to work on building the TV head. So what I'm going to do is start building her face just like this. I'm going to build it out of gray clay. So I have to build all the layers like this. And I have to keep on going across. And once this is complete, her head is going to look so amazing. All right, boys, I'm going to start checking on your build. Wait, what? You're checking on our builds already? Uh, okay. Old TV woman, how do you like my build so far? Uh, I look very boxy. Very boxy? Are you serious? Yeah, I think my head's more of a rectangular shape. Bro, what? Okay, whatever. Well, TV woman, honestly, you're just gonna have to deal with it. What? Are you serious? Ugh, all right. Well, trust me, it's gonna look better than it is right now. Because I still have to build your beautiful eyes in your mouth. So, you know what? I'm actually gonna do it right now. I have to build it just like this and like this. Going all the way down. And perfect. Wait a second. Okay. That is not perfect at all. So, I'm just gonna delete it real quick. And, uh, TV woman, do not look at your beautiful face, please. All right. I'll just wait until you're finished. All right. Thanks a lot. Well, wait a second. I literally just finished. So, you can look now. All right. And, whoa, that looks so good, speaker man. Does it really? Yeah, I know. Uh, uh, TV woman, can you come over here? I have to look at your beautiful face for a second so I can uh, make your face. Oh my gosh, you guys are so flattering. Bro, you're such a sim. Says you, speaker man. Well, here, let me just do this, just like this. And perfect, this looks amazing. Bro, what even is that? That doesn't look like your beautiful face. Uh, yeah, it does. Uh, no, it doesn't, TV man. Are you saying I have a big mouth? Wait, what? Uh, no, I'm not saying you have a big mouth. This is literally just her face. Dude, are you serious? Why do you have to be so mean to her? Speaker man, you know I'm not being mean to her. Now, you can either do this the easy way or the hard way. Get away from my build or you're gonna get it. Uh, okay, dude, okay, dude. I'm sorry, but I'll be back later on. Trust me. All right, dude, whatever you say. Wow, guys. TV Man is super duper weird. Well, here. I'm gonna get back to building TV Woman's beautiful head. And after I build all these walls, I'm gonna start working on the interior, and this is gonna look so awesome. I'm gonna have multiple floors and stuff. I bet you she'll love it. Now, I'm gonna win her love. Oh, Speaker Man, it seems like you got a good wall going on over here. Oh, hey, TV Man. Yeah, I sure do. Well, uh, here, let me help you out on building it, okay? Just, uh, stand still real quick. Uh, all right, dude. And take this. Wait a second. What is that? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> dude, you literally just shocked me into the void. That's what you get. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe this right now. You know what? After I'm finished building these walls, I'm going to get back at you. Yeah, keep on saying that, dude. I have way more pranks up my sleeve. Oh, my goodness, guys. I can't believe that. He literally shocked me into the void of the impulse grenade. After I finish this one wall right here, I'm going to go to his base, and I'm going to fill it up with TNT. I'm going to destroy it all. Well, here, let me stop talking. I got to finish this wall real quick. And perfect. Now it's time for me to take revenge on him. So, you know what? I'm going to head to this base.
place right now, and I have a special kind of TNT that's gonna do a massive explosion. So, uh, hey there, TV man. I have something for you, buddy. Oh, hey there, speaker man. I have something for you also. All right, well, what is that? Well, I'll show you what it is after you get out of my base. Dude, I'm not getting out of base. You know what? You won't even have a base for much longer. Take this. Wait a second. What are you doing? Hey, get over here now. Oh, my goodness. I literally just blew up this whole entire TV woman head. No, my precious TV woman head. <laughs> That's what you can't do. <laughs> How could you do this? Hey, what the heck is that? Why are you chucking frogs at me? Hey, stop it, guys. No, take that. Ow, dude, that really hurt. Hey, what the heck? It just made me jump into the void. Yeah, that's what you get. Now I have to rebuild my whole entire TV woman head. I was literally going to win this thing. Yeah, right, dude. Well, my TV woman head isn't even being close to finish. Maybe I can go mine that lucky block and maybe it can give me like a magical wand that can speed up my process to all you here. Let me just mine it real quick and come on, give me something good. And wait a second. Oh, I just got to build one. No way. All right, boys, you have five minutes left, so get ready to be just. Wait a second. Five minutes? I haven't even finished all the walls yet. Oh, my gosh. I gotta finish this stuff fast. And thankfully, I got the build wall just in time. So, it should be able to help me. And yes, I already finished rebuilding TV Woman's head. Wait a second. You already finished doing that? Oh, my goodness. Well, I still have to finish building all these walls real quick. And, uh, wait a second. What even is the command to build the walls? Oh, my gosh. Maybe it's slash slash set. Bedrock. Let me see. And, oh, my goodness. This is not. What could it even be? Uh, Speaker Man is literally slash slash set. Not slash set. Wait a second. Slash slash set? Are you serious? Okay. Here, let me do this real quick. And oh my goodness. The wall literally just filled itself in. That's awesome. Nice. Now you'll be able to finish your TV woman head. Yeah, I know. This is so awesome. Well, here, let me do that again. Slash, slash, set, better off. And look at this wall. It is literally filled. Nice, dude. It's about time. Wait a second, uh, TV man. What are you even doing here? Well, the time is almost up and you're almost done your build. So I just wanted to come over and give you a housewarming gift. A housewarming gift? For, are you serious? What is that in your hands right there? Oh, you know, it's just some cat. Of beans. Oh my gosh. Oh, that stinks so much, dude. You just farted everywhere. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't believe you. That housewarming gift literally stinks. But uh, I really wish I could get back at him. But we barely have any time left. And I really need to win this thing. Let me click here and I have to go to the other side so I can set the other position. And then I can set this out of bedrock. I think slash slash set bedrock. And perfect. I set the whole entire roof of bedrock. So now her head is basically complete. But uh oh. I still have to do the whole entire inside real quick. Guys, there's only one minute remaining. Hold on, wait a second. One minute? Oh my goodness, I think I'll only be able to make one floor to this place. What? I'm not even done the inside. Oh my gosh. I should have been pranking Speaker Man this whole entire time. I literally just wasted so much time. <laughs> That's what you get, TV man. Well, honestly, I think I can finish the inside in one minute. Well, here, let me build the pad real quick, and this looks awesome so far. And then TV Woman said, I also need a couch for us to sit on. So let me build that, and perfect. And finally, I'm just gonna build an awesome TV in here. And after I build this TV, I have to light the place up because it is literally so dark. And perfect. I finished the TV, so let me grab some glowstone real quick and place it everywhere. So now TV Woman can see inside of her head. All right, boys, your time is up. Wait a second. No, no, no. I'm not ready. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Come out of your houses and stand on the hearth. All right, TV Woman. I literally finished just in time. Oh, uh, yeah. I finished also. Speaker Man, you are going down. I'm going to win this thing, and you are going to get kicked off the one heart. Yeah, right, dude. We'll see after she judges. Oh, TV Woman, whose head are you going to look at first? Well, how about we look at TV Man's head first because he thinks he's going to win. Yep, I know I'm gonna win. Okay, follow me, guys. Let's look at my head. So, first off, here is the head on the outside. Uh, it's not very accurate. Wait, what? How is it not accurate? Yeah, dude, look, she does not have a humongous mouth. And my face is not blue. Oh, uh, well, I just really wanted to put some color into my build. So, uh, I just made the head blue. And about the mouth, I think it looks exactly like your mouth. All right, well, uh, follow me inside of the build, and here is the build. Dude, are you serious? There's literally only a bed in here with a heart. Aw, uh, it's kind of sweet. Yeah, I know it is. Isn't it so lovely inside of here? It's very simple. There's just one bed and one heart. Yeah, but where are we gonna eat our food? Well, uh, we can eat the food on the bed if you want to. No, 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 that's gross. Yeah, dude, you literally got, like, nothing in here. Yeah, whatever you say, Speaker Man, I can't wait to see what's inside yours. I bet there's less inside of yours than mine. All right, dude, well, TV woman, what do you write TV Man's house? Huh, I rate it a six. A six? Are you serious? Oh, my gosh. I thought I was gonna get a higher number than that. Well, don't worry, it's gonna be a way higher number than Speaker Man's because Speaker Man's literally so trash. Yeah, buddy, we'll see about that. Well, TV woman, Welcome to your head. And look at it. It's literally like a one to one replica. Yeah, it is pretty close. But let's go ahead and see the inside. All right, yeah, let's go do this. And welcome to the inside. We literally have a humongous TV with a couch right here. Oh, wow. I love 
this couch. Oh my gosh, how do you build this all so fast? Well, because I'm cool like that. But wait a second, why is there a hole in your wall right here? Yeah, what do you mean? There's literally no hole in the wall. Wait, what? You literally just patched it up. Uh, no, dude, I didn't. Well, if you couldn't see that hole, then maybe you could see that giant hole up there. Uh, t woman, that is just like a sunroof. Huh, okay, I guess I like our sunroof. Wait a second, what? That's not a sunroof, that's like a hole in the wall. He didn't mean to put that there. Oh my gosh, this is really getting me frustrated. Dude, it's literally sunroof, okay? Well, t woman, let's get back to the tour and look at this. This is literally our bed. Oh, I love the color pink. Oh my gosh, you know what? I'm done with this. Hey, TV man, where are you going? I don't want to look at his trash build anymore. I'm just going to sit and wait at the heart for me to win. All right, well, you won't be sitting there for long because now I'm going to tell you who the winner is. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to win this TV woman. Right, you're literally not going to win. I'm going to be the winner of this. Okay, boy, stop arguing. I'm going to tell you the winner right now. All right, TV woman, it better be me because I am going to be your one true love and we are going to kick the speaker man off of this one heart. Well, TV man, it seems like we're not going to be one true love because you have lost and Spickerman has won. Wait a second. I won. Let's go. Yep. And TV man, go look at your build and watch it explode. Wait a second. What do you mean watch it explode? Uh, literally nothing is happening. Oh my gosh. Wait a second. I stop. <laughs> oh my goodness. TV man, your whole entire TV woman that just exploded. No. TV woman, how could you do this to me? I was your one true love. I built this heart for you. Well, it seems like you didn't win and now you're getting kicked off this one heart. Wait a second. No. Oh, my gosh. That is what he gets. This build was so trash. Yeah, it sure was. And you're my one true love. Mwah. Oh, gosh, I'm literally so bored. There's nothing to do today. Well, maybe one of my friends can actually hang out. Oh, here, let me call up TV Man real fast. And, uh, hey there, TV Man, buddy. Can you hang out? Uh, no, I can't hang out today. Sorry. What? You can't hang out? Really? What are you even doing, bro? I'm walking my fish. I'm sorry. Bro, what the heck? You're walking your fish? Uh, yeah. Do you not walk your fish? No, bro. I don't even have a fish. Well, I'm walking my fish. Sorry, bro. Bro, what? Are you kidding me? Oh, my gosh, man. So, literally, it's hung up on me. I cannot believe that that just happened. Well, maybe one of my other friends can hang out. Let me call up Cameraman real fast. And, uh, hello there, cameraman. Can you hang out with me, buddy, please? Oh, hey there, speaker man. Uh, no, sorry. I'm walking my fish. Bro, what? You're walking your fish as well? Uh, yeah. Are you not walking your fish? It's annual walk your fish day. Bro, what the heck? How did I not know about this? Oh, my goodness. Well, have fun walking your fish, I guess, cameraman. Yep, you too. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe that that just happened. Both of my friends are literally walking their fish for some reason. Well, you know what? There's only one more person that thinks around. So, here. Let me call up speaker woman. And, uh, hello there, speaker woman. Are you here? Oh, hey, speaker man. What's up? Uh, I was just wondering if you wanted to hang out today because literally all my other friends are walking their fish. Walking their fish? Huh, that's so weird. Yeah, apparently it's National Walker Fish Day. And honestly, I didn't even know you could walk your fish. Neither did I. Well, speaker woman, do you want to hang out? Uh, maybe, but my sister's in town, so I'll have to check with her. Uh, all right, yeah, let me know. Hey, speaker girl, do you want to hang out at speaker man's house? Oh my gosh, speaker woman, that would be so amazing. All right, perfect. Well, speaker man, we will be over there soon. Wait a second, you will? Yes, sir. All right. I guess I'll see you guys soon. Yep. See ya, bye. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait. Finally, my friends are gonna cure my boredom. And we're here. Wow, that was fast. Uh, hey there, guys. Oh my gosh, speaker man. I have heard so much good things about you. Oh my gosh, you look so hot and so muscular and so tall. I just want to give you a big kiss. Uh, what the heck? Hey, speaker girl, come down. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I was just really excited to see you, speaker man. Oh, uh, yeah, I can tell. Well, speaker man, this is speaker girl, my sister. Oh, well, I guess it's nice to meet you, speaker girl. Yeah, it's nice to to meet you too, and I have a huge crush on you. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I could tell. Well, guys, how about we play a game? Ooh, I love games. What game should we play? Oh, uh, let me see. I think we can play some Super Lario. Okay, that sounds like so much fun. Oh, my gosh. I love Super Lario, and I also love you. Bro, what the heck? Okay, you're getting kind of creepy, not gonna lie. Oh, okay, uh, I'll calm down. Sorry, speaker man. Well, where do you want to sit? Because I want to sit next to you. Bro, what the heck? Uh, okay, I'll just sit right here, I guess. All right, and I'll sit right here. So let's play some Super Lario and I'll let you win every single time because I love you so much. Oh, uh, okay. I think I'll just beat you anyways. Well, guys, let's get started. Yeah, let's do this, guys. Two hours later. Hey, that's not fair. I wouldn't want a speaker girl didn't let you win so many times. Ha, ha, speaker woman, that's what you get. And my boyfriend has won. Wait a second, uh, boyfriend. Are you kidding me? I'm not your boyfriend, speaker girl. Because we literally just met. Oops, did I just say that out loud? Uh, I'm sorry, speaker man. I just meant to say that you're my friend that's a boy. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, guys, it's getting kind of late, so are you guys gonna go home yet? Uh, I guess we can go home. What? No, speaker woman. I wanna go on a date with speaker man. Wait, what? You wanna go on a date with me? Yes, I wanna go on a date with you. And 
I want you to be my boyfriend. Uh, what the heck? I mean, I guess we can go on a date and see how it goes. But you've been really crazy. Yeah, I know I've been crazy. Crazy in love with you. Bro, what the heck? Now come here and let me give you a kiss. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No kisses yet. We're gonna have to go on a date first. And maybe after that we can kiss, okay? Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. Well, I'm gonna go home and let you guys go on your date. And if she gets crazy, call me, speaker man. All right, thanks a lot, speaker woman. And uh, speaker girl, are you ready to go on the date now? Yes, I'm so ready to go on the date, speaker man. Oh my gosh, and you smell so good. What cologne are you using? Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure that's just my body odor. Oh my gosh, well, you smell so amazing. I want to smell you even more. Bro, what the heck? Okay, okay. Let's just go on the date because you're getting pretty crazy. All right, speaker man, let's go. And welcome to Los Ponchos. This is where we're going to be having our date. Uh, Los Ponchos? Okay, um, this is kind of weird because this restaurant is super low quality, but um, whatever. Anything to make you love me, speaker man. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. This is my favorite taco shop, by the way. Oh, okay, well, I love this place now. Uh, all right. Hello, you love birds. Welcome to Los Ponchos. Uh, hey there, Maddie. How are you doing? I'm good. What can I start you guys off with? Um, excuse me, are you hitting on my boyfriend? Uh, no, I just know Speaker Man. Yeah, she serves me tacos. Uh, okay, well, can you get us two tacos? And can you please get the food now and stop flirting with my boyfriend? Uh, girl, I was not flirting with your boyfriend. I don't even like Speaker Man. Sorry, Speaker Man. Oh, it's all right. Well, I'll go ahead and get you guys your food. Yeah, you better. And Speaker Man, why is that girl flirting with you? Uh, dude, I do not think that she's flirting with me. She's literally a worker here that's supposed to serve us tacos. Yeah, right. I'm gonna do something about her flirting with you. Wait, uh, what the heck are you gonna do? Hey there, lady, why are you flirting with my boyfriend? Uh, like I said, I am not flirting with your boyfriend. Yeah, sure, lady. Now give us our tacos. What the heck? Uh, what the heck is going on here? Speaker girl, put down the gun. Here, here, take your tacos. Yeah, that's what I thought, lady. Now never try to flirt with my boyfriend ever again. Bruh, speaker girl, she was not trying to flirt with me. Yeah, whatever you say, speaker man, I'll sit down and let's finish up this date because I want to marry you. Oh, okay, you're kind of crazy, not gonna lie. I'm sorry, I'm just crazy in love with you. Yeah, I can tell. Well, here, let's eat our tacos. All right, and oh, these are trash. I mean, oh, no, these are delicious. Oh my gosh, speaker man, we have to go here more. These are so good. Uh, are you all right? You kind of sound like you're about to throw up. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't worry. Uh, okay, good. Well, I'm actually a little full, speaker man, so I don't really want to eat my tacos. But what I really want to do is go back to your house so I can kiss you. Bro, what the heck? Okay, after this, we're not going back to my house. We're going to go somewhere else. Uh, okay, whatever, speaker man. Well, where are we going to go? Well, maybe we can go to the beach or something because it's kind of relaxing over there. Oh my gosh, I love the beach. It is so relaxing. Well, how about this? Let's get out of this horrible restaurant and let's go to the beach. Uh, Oh, okay, well, we kind of have to pay. Speaker man, you are not paying someone that was flirting with you. I am not letting that happen. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll just come. I'll, I'm sorry, Maddie. Don't worry, Speaker man. I understand. Now, come on, Speaker man. Let's go to the beach. Uh, okay, yeah, let's go. And now we're at the beach, and oh my goodness. Hello, Timmy. Hey, buddy. Um, wait a second. Who the heck is that? Oh, hey, yeah, bro. What are you doing at the beach? You're never at the beach. Oh, uh, dude, I'm kind of on a date with this crazy girl right here. It is a little Speaker Woman's sister. What is Speak a woman's sister. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious, bro. She is super duper crazy. Oh my gosh, dude. That's super duper bad. Hey, speaker man, stop talking to this little kid. And give me more attention. Bro, what? I've been giving attention for like an hour straight. Can I not just talk to my friend for one second? Yeah, lady. Can he not talk to me for one second? Um, who do you think you are? You're not the one on this date, little kid. Well, it doesn't matter because speak man is my friend. Well, we're on a romantic date. And you are literally ruining the date, little kid. Now get out of here. Lady, this is a public beach. And Anybody is allowed on this beach, so I'm just going to stay here. All right, guys, calm down. I do not want you guys fighting. No, Speaker Man, I don't want this little kid on the beach with us. Hey, get off of the beach right now, or I'm calling the cops. Bro, what the heck? Put down the gun. All right, lady. All right, lady. I'm sorry. I will get off of the beach. I'm sorry, okay? Speaker Man, I'll see you later. All right, yeah. See you, little Timmy. And uh, Speaker Girl, you did not have to do that. But Speaker Man, he was not leaving the beach, and I want to have a romantic date. Like, look at this. There's literally a fire just for us. Whoa, where did they even come from? What the heck? And there's also a cooler full of drinks. I think that little kid left them here. Yeah, me too. Well, Speaker Girl, honestly, you literally just disrespected one of my best friends, so I don't think this is gonna work out. Wait a second. You don't think this is gonna work out? What does that mean? Oh, uh, I mean, like, me and you. I don't think it's gonna work out. But, Speaker Man, it has to work out. You are my one true love, and I just wanna give you a big kiss. Ew, no, no, no. Do not kiss me, please. Speaker Man, we are not ending this date. Bro, what the heck? Okay, okay. We can still go to the date, okay? Yeah, that's what I thought, Speaker Man. And look at your arms. Oh, my gosh. They're so muscular. Okay, okay, here, get away. I do not want to kiss right now. I wasn't going to kiss you, silly. I was just feeling your muscles. Well, let's go ahead and let's grab a sandwich. Let's just sit down and have a romantic date. Come on. Uh, okay.
Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna finish this taco from earlier. Wait a second. You brought the taco from that other place. Oh my gosh, that's so disgusting of you, Speaker Man. Uh, no, it's not. It's my favorite taco. Well, honestly, Speaker Man, this is boring. Let's go back to your house or something. Uh, no, I don't think we can go back to my house. How about we go to, like, the pool? Go to the pool? Are you serious, Speaker Man? I just want to go to your house. No, I'm sorry. Let's go to the pool. Why? But the pool is literally so boring. Honestly, it's the most fun thing around here. Well, let's go. And Speaker Girl, now we're at the pool, so let's go swim. All right, Speaker Man, and I'm gonna go on the slide. Oh, uh, all right. Uh, this slide is so high. I'm so scared. Wait a second. There's a little girl up there. Hey, little girl, what are you doing up here? It is my turn to go on the slide. Uh, no, it's not. I'm just deciding if I should go on the slide. I'm really scared. Well, don't be scared. Go down. Ah! What the heck, Speaker Girl? You literally just pushed her down. Yeah, I know I did, Speaker Man. She was taking too long. Hey, that was so mean, and I can't swim. Help me. Wait, what? She can't swim? Hey, girl. Come on, you can swim, please. Look, I'll help you go to the other side. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, thank you so much, mister. And the girl you're with is so mean and ugly. Hey, what did you just say to me, little girl? I said you're so mean and ugly. Well, guys, calm down. No, Speaker Man, be quiet. Everyone's been trying to flirt with you lately, and I'm the only one that's allowed to flirt with you. Bro, what? She's literally like a five-year-old girl girl. Uh, actually, I'm five and a half. Well, little five and a half girl, you're going back into the pool. Hey, no! Ah! Stop pushing her in the pool. She can't swim. Yeah, I can't swim. You're so mean. Yeah, whatever. All right, Missy, I'm gonna call the cops on no, you. No, Daddy, this girl's being so mean to me. She pushed me in the pool. Please arrest her. Oh, no, Speaker Man. Uh, this is not good. Yeah, you really should not have pushed her in the pool because her dad's a police officer. Well, uh, how about we get out of here, Speaker Man? Come on. Yeah, that's a good idea. Run! And maybe we could go back to your house so I can kiss you. No, what the heck? We're gonna hide inside my house. Let's go. If you, we made it inside of the house. Yeah, Speaker Man, and now we're inside of the house so I can finally kiss you. Oh, my gosh, you are so strong and so muscly and so cute and so hot. Oh, uh, Speaker Girl, I really do not want to kiss. Come here, Speaker Man. I'm gonna kiss you. No, no, no. Please do not kiss me. Knock, knock, knock. Police. Wait a second. The police are at my house. Oh, no, Speaker Man. This is not good. I have to hide. What? You're hiding? Oh, my gosh. Oh. Well, I have to answer the door since it's a policeman. And hey there, Mr. Policeman. Hello there. Speaker Girl here. Oh, uh, no. Speaker Girl, no. I don't think she is. Are you telling the truth or are you lying? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm telling the truth. Well, you're gonna get arrested if you're lying. Oh, uh, okay, okay. She's literally upstairs on the toilet right now. All right. Thank you so much. She's under arrest. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, good, thank you. She is super duper crazy. Oh, speaker girl, where are you? Oh, there you are. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm here to arrest you for pushing my daughter in the pool. Wait a second, you're arresting me? Hey, no. Speaker man, save me with your muscles. Speaker girl, I can't do anything. You literally got yourself into this situation. Oh my gosh, speaker man, I just wanted your love. Because you're so hot and so strong and so beautiful. Yeah, I know I am, but you're a crazy person, so I do not like you. Oh my gosh, speaker man, well, I'll be back to get your love. Don't worry. Yeah, right, I'll see you never. Guys, Speaker Woman's sister was so crazy, but now she got arrested, so I'm never gonna see her ever again. Oh, Speaker Man, this date is going so good. Honestly, I'm really starting to like you. What? You're starting to like me? Oh, honestly? You're pretty funny, so I'm starting to like you, too. Oh, my gosh. I cannot believe this right now. It's like we're a match from heaven. Uh, okay. Whatever you say, Speaker Woman. Well, Speaker Man, I have a question for you. Oh, uh, okay. What is it? Will you will you date me? Oh, my gosh. Speaker Man. Wait a second. What the heck? TV Woman, what are you doing hey, here? Now, why are your eyes full of hearts? I am your biggest fan, Speaker Man. What? You're my fan? Hey, you aren't his biggest fan. I'm his biggest fan. No, I am, Speaker Woman. Oh, uh, no, I am. No, I am. And I'm going to kiss him. Mwah. Whoa, what the heck? Why did you just kiss me? Oh, my goodness, Speaker Man. Are you cheating on me with her? No, I don't even know why she kissed me. Yeah, right. I was literally about to ask you if you wanted to date me. You know what? I'm out of here. See ya. Wait, no, Speaker Woman. I'm sorry. Oh, my goodness. Uh, TV Woman, what is wrong with you? Why would you kiss me directly in front of her? And we aren't even dating her or anything. Well, because I'm your biggest fan. And I will do anything for your love, Speaker Man. I'll even shoot someone. Bro, what the heck? You shoot someone? Oh my goodness, you're literally my crazy fangirl. Yeah, I know I am, Speaker Man. Well, come here and give me another kiss. No, no, no. I'm not gonna give you another kiss. I gotta get rid of you. What? You gotta get rid of me? You can never get rid of me, Speaker Man. Oh, uh, really? I can't. Well, uh, here, trust me. I will by the end of the day. 
no speaker man. There is no way that you can get rid of me. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Put down the gun. No, I won't. Now go on a date with me. Go on a date with you? Oh my goodness. I really want to get rid of you though. Oh man. I guess I'll go on a date with you, but after the date, you have to promise that you'll leave me because you literally ruined my relationship with speaker girl man. Well, speaker man, after our date, I'm not going to leave you. Instead, I want to go back to your house. Bro, what? You're going back to my house? What the heck? Now, come on, speaker man. Follow me to the date or I'm going to shoot you. What? You're going to shoot me? Oh my goodness. Well, guys, I guess I have to go on this date with her. Well, trust me, by the end of the day, I'll literally get rid of her. Hey, what are you saying back there, speaker man? Uh, nothing. Let's go on the date. And welcome to our date. I can't wait for you to be my boyfriend. What? Be your boyfriend? What the heck? Yes. Now, go ahead and sit down right now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'll sit down. Yeah, that's what I thought, speaker man. Oh my goodness. I can't believe that this is happening. Baby woman, why are you my crazy fangirl? Because, speaker man, I'm just crazy in love with you. And I am your biggest fan. I want to marry you so badly. And trust me, speaker man, I will do anything for your love. Bro, what? You want to marry me now? You are so crazy. Hello there, guys. Welcome to Brooks Diner. What would you like to eat? Oh, hello there, mister. I would like a cheeseburger, and I want you to get him a love potion. Wait, what? You want him to give me a love potion? All right, a love potion? Oh, uh, yeah, that is on the special today, so I guess I'll get you that. Bro, what? No, no, no. Take that off the list. Are you sure you don't want a love potion? It seems like your girlfriend wants you to drink it. Bro, this isn't even my girlfriend. This is TV woman. She is my crazy fangirl. Well, okay, I'm sorry, miss, but no love potion today. No love potion today? What did you just say to me? Oh, put down the gun, TV woman. Oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. I will get him a love potion. Don't worry. Your cheeseburger is coming right off. Yeah, that's what I thought. And speaker man, when you drink this love potion, you are going to be so in love with me. And I am not going to be your crazy fangirl anymore. I am going to be your girlfriend. Bro, I'll be my girlfriend. Oh, man. What have I gotten myself into? Okay, guys, here is your cheeseburger, and here's the love potion. All right, Pookie Bear, drink up. Uh, honestly, I do not want to drink this. Speaker man, I said drink it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, okay. Put down the gun. Hey, lady, put down the gun or I'm calling the cops. No, I'm not going to put it down until Speaker Man drinks the love potion. Well, I'm not going to drink the love potion, so, uh, hey, mister, please call the cops on her. All right, I'm calling the cops right now. What did you just say? Did you say you're calling the cops? Yup, and you're going to get arrested. No, I'm not going to get arrested. I'm getting out of here. Speaker Man, come with me right now. Wait, what the heck? Oh, my goodness. Okay, okay, mister, tell the police man to chase us, please. All right, I will. And, uh, TV woman, where are we going to go? Now we're going to go to your house so I can give you so many kisses, Speaker Man. What? Give me kisses? Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it. But wait a second. Did you even drink that love potion? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I did. Uh, okay, you better have. And if you didn't, then I'm going to have to use this gun. Uh, okay, well, good thing I drank the love potion. All right, Speaker Man. Well, let's just go back to your house. Come on. All right, uh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> TV woman, we're at my house. Yes, finally. Now we can have some alone time, Speaker Man. Uh, okay, well, I'll meet you upstairs. Hey, guys, this is so bad. Hopefully that guy actually called the police on her, and hopefully the police men are going to be here soon. Oh, Speaker Man, where are you? I'm ready to watch some TV. What? Watch some TV? Oh, okay, yeah. And I'm gonna give you so many kisses. Kisses? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll just sit right over here. What, Speaker Man? Sit right next to me. Come on. No, TV woman, I'm not gonna sit next to you. I'm sorry. I said sit next to me. Oh my gosh, okay, okay. I will sit next to you. I'm sorry. And now it's time for me to kiss you. Hello, police, open up. Oh my gosh, the police got here just in time. Um, wait a second. Where are you going? I didn't kiss you yet. Please help me, please. TV woman is a crazy fan girl. I need you to get rid of her. Man, put the gun down. Uh, uh, okay. I'm sorry, Mr. Policeman. It's not what it seems. I was just about to kiss Speaker Man. Nothing else was gonna happen. Yeah, that's a lie. Because I heard from someone that you're making Speaker Man do stuff what? by threatening him with a gun. What? No, that's not true. Oh, uh, Mr. Policeman, it is true. And right before he got here, you literally pulled the gun on me again. All right, yeah, that's what I thought. You're getting arrested. What? I'm getting arrested? No, hey, let go of me. Yep, this is what you get. Now you're going to jail and you're gonna be locked there forever. Wait a second. No, Speaker Man, let me get a kiss before I get arrested, please. No, TV woman, you're a crazy fan girl. And you're gonna stay in jail for the rest of your life. Oh my gosh, Speaker Man, I will be back. Don't you worry. Wait, what? You'll be back? Yes, I will, Speaker Man. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. That did not sound good at all. I think she's literally gonna break out of jail. And honestly, I don't know what to do anymore. I have to get rid of her once and for all, but how? Huh? Let me think. Wait a second. What if I went to the tank store and I bought a tank and if she came back to me, I could literally run her over. Oh my gosh, that's a great idea. Maybe after I run her over, then she'll stop being my crazy fangirl. So you know what? I'm gonna head to the tank store right now and I'm gonna purchase a tank. And perfect, I made it to the tank shop. So uh, hey there, mister. I would really like to purchase a tank. All right, what tank would you like to buy? The green one or the green one? Uh, well, let me think. Well, I think I only see the green one, so how about the green one? All right, perfect. Well, that will be about $10,000. Wait, what? $10,000? Oh my goodness. Yes, $10,000. And 
dollars. What do you expect? I'm giving you a discount. Oh man, all right. Well, I really need the tank, so I guess I'll buy it. Here you kill, Mister. All righty, thanks a lot. The tank is yours. All right, perfect. Thanks a lot, Mister. And guys, now that I have this tank, I can drive it back to my house. And I'm just gonna set it up right outside so I can protect myself. So let's go. Wait a second. What the heck? Yes, I finally found a way to escape my jail cell. Now it's time to go back to Speaker Man's house. Wait a second. Uh, hello, TV woman. It is literally me in this tank right behind you. Wait a second, Speaker Man. You have a tank? Yeah, I have a tank. I literally bought this so I can run you over. Oh my gosh, Speaker Man. You, you bought this tank so we could destroy the city together? No, I bought this tank so I can run you over to hopefully make you stop being my crazy fangirl. Why do you want to run me over? Yeah, I sure do. And you know what? I'm going to do it right now. Wait a second, Speaker Man. No. Ha ha ha. This is what you get. Oh my gosh. What happened to me? Oh my goodness. I think it actually worked. Oh, hey there, TV woman. Are you still my crazy fangirl? Oh my gosh, what happened to me? Well, TV woman, you were my crazy fangirl. And you were super in love with me. Oh my goodness, I should have never drank that love potion. That's probably why I was so in love with you. I'm so sorry, speaker man. And wait a second, why do I have these orange clothes on? Uh, because you literally got sent to the prison because you kept pulling guns on me. Oh my gosh, speaker man, I am so sorry. I feel so embarrassed. Well, uh, I'm just gonna go home now. Bye. Uh, see you, TV woman. Well, Pomni, what flavor of ice cream is that? I got bubble gum. Bubble gum? Oh, my goodness. I have the best joke for this. Really? Uh, all right. What is it? Well, Pomni, why can't agents risk eating bubble gum ice cream? Uh, why? Because they can't risk blowing their cover. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Speaker Man. That's so hilarious. Yeah, I know. I'm so funny. Wow, Speaker Man. That was so hilarious. Jax, are you being sarcastic? Yes, I'm being sarcastic. That was the worst joke I've ever heard in my life. Well, I thought it was hilarious. Yeah, at least someone likes my joke. All right. Well, I'm just going to go get my ice cream then. All right, Jax. Uh, Jax is so boring. I don't really like him anymore. Wait, what? You don't like Jax? Isn't he literally your boyfriend? Yeah, but he doesn't know how to have any fun. Oh, uh, what? Are you serious? Yeah, and you can make me laugh, speaker man. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm super duper funny. Well, I was thinking and wondering, do you want to be my new boyfriend? Wait, what the heck? You want me to be your new boyfriend? You're literally cheating on Jax? Yeah, but don't tell him. What, are you serious right now? Pomni, I cannot believe that this is happening. You're literally cheating on Jax right behind his back. Shush, Speaker Man, be quiet. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Guys, I got my ice cream. What are you guys talking about? Oh, uh, nothing, Jax. Actually, we were talking about something, and it's very important. It's very important. Uh, okay, what is it? Uh, well, Jax, I like Speaker Man a lot more than you, so he's gonna be my new boyfriend. Wait a second, what did you just say, Pomni? Uh-oh. So you're cheating on me? Uh, kinda, I guess. Are you serious right now? Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. I'm sorry, Jax, but I just don't like you anymore. You're not funny like Speaker Man is. Oh my gosh, Pomni! You've really made me mad. Wait a second, Jax. Where are you going? I don't know. I'm going somewhere. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Pomni, this is kind of bad. Yeah, it sure is. I didn't expect for him to react like that. Well, how did he really expect him to react? You literally just told him that you're cheating on him. Well, I thought he was going to be like, okay, bye. But he seems super duper upset. Yeah, he sure does. Well, hopefully he doesn't take revenge on us for you cheating. Yeah, I hope he doesn't. Well, Speaker Man, what do you want to do now? Well, Pomni, honestly, I was thinking about going to the pool. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. Yeah, I know. Well, here. The pool is right over there, so let's Let's go. And we're gonna have such a blast. Okay, I'll be right there. I just gotta change into my bathing suit. Uh, okay, Pomni. And honestly, guys, I cannot believe that that just happened. Pomni literally just shit on Jax right by his back. And I really hope nothing bad happens. Well, I'm just gonna hop in the pool right now. And Geronimo! Oh, uh -huh. uh, the water feels so nice today. Oh, uh, speaker man, I'm here. Geronimo! Wait, Pomni, what the heck? Oh, my goodness. Wow, that was so much fun. This water's so refreshing. Yeah, it sure is. Well, Pomni, do you want to play a game in here? Yeah, let's play. Marco Polo. All right, I'll go first. Okay, my eyes are closed. All right, Bobby. Well, I'm going to go right over here. She won't even be able to get me. Okay, Marco. Polo. Marco. Polo. Marco. Polo. Uh, Speaker Man, why do you sound like that? Uh, Bobby, that's not me. Wait a second. Oh, my gosh, Jax, what are you doing with the sword? Wait, Jax is here? Hey there, Bobby. I can't believe you cheated on me. Oh, uh, hey. There, Jack. I just wanted to let you know that because you cheated on me, you better watch your back. Because I'm getting revenge on you, Pomni, and you are not ready for it. Uh, Jax, put down the sword, please. That's scaring me a bit. 
<laughs> no, I'm not gonna put down the sword, and you guys better be prepared. <laughs> oh, wait a second. What the heck just happened? Pomni, that is super duper creepy. Yeah, Church, Jax is gonna take revenge on us now. Yeah, he sure is. Oh, no. Pomni, this is so bad. I honestly think that we should get out of the pool, and maybe we should go hide in my house. Yeah, that's a good idea, and hopefully he doesn't come there. Yeah, hopefully he does. Well, here, let's go back to the house. Good, quick, get inside my house. But wait a second. What in the heck? It seems like I have a new neighbor. And that neighbor has a castle? That's kind of strange. Yeah, it sure is. Oh, man. Okay. Well, Pomni, let's just go inside my house so we can hide. Yeah, all right. Let's go. Oh, hey there, Pomni. I've been expecting you. What the heck? That's Jax's castle. Yep, and I'm coming in. Wait, wait. No, 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 Jax. You cannot come inside. Oh, my gosh. What are you doing? Ah, uh, get this bag off my head. Hey, Jax, where are you taking her? I'm taking her to my castle for revenge. Wait, what? In your castle for revenge? Oh, my goodness. Because this is so bad. Jax literally just kidnapped Pomni. And I have to save her. Oh, man. But I have to somehow get inside of this castle. Oh, wait a second. The front door is literally locked. Are you serious? Oh, my goodness. I can't believe this right now. Well, here. I'm going to have to check all around the house. And hopefully, there's a way for me to get in. Oh, speaker man, where are you? You're next. Wait a second. You just tell him next. Oh, no. This is not good at all. Okay, okay. Well, let me see. Is there any way for me to get in? Oh, my goodness. The front door is literally the only way. Oh, speaker man, where are you? Oh, my goodness. And Jax literally just walked out the front door. Okay, okay. Now is my time to run in. And he's going inside my house. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Well, let's see. Where is Pomni? Huh? Well, she's not in this room. And she's not in the living room. Oh, my goodness. I really have to fight her quick because if I don't, Jax is literally going to come back and he's going to spot me. Maybe she's upstairs. Oh, uh, no. She's not even upstairs. Are you serious? Oh, man. Well, I think I saw a basement. So I was going to go downstairs. And maybe she's inside of there. Well, here, let me go down real quick and look. The entrance for the basement is literally right here. Okay, okay. I'm going to go down real quick and oh my goodness, this is so scary. Hey, Pomni, are you here? Yes, I'm down here, Speaker Man. He trapped me in a room. Wait, what? Shh. Pomni, quiet down, okay? What room are you even trapped in? I'm trapped in this cell right here. Wait, what? You're literally inside of the cell. Oh my goodness. Are you all right, Pomni? Yeah, I'm all right. It's just kind of cold in here. Well, here, let me try to get her out real quick. And, oh my goodness, the door is literally locked. I can't get you out, Pomni. Pomni. Oh, no, this is so bad. Hey, what is all that ruckus coming from downstairs? Pomni, I think that was just Jax. Okay, okay, I gotta hide real quick. Well, let's see, is this a good hiding spot? And no, I don't think it is. Well, let me check over here. And oh, my goodness, okay, okay. This is the best hiding spot ever. Hey, Pomni, who are you talking to? Oh, I'm just going a little crazy in here, Jack. so I'm talking to myself. All right, Pomni, yeah, that's what I thought. Well, you better not get any ideas of escaping here, because this is what you get for cheating on me. Oh, don't worry, I love my cell. And Jax, quick question, how did you get a castle this fast? Oh, Kane just teleported this castle. Here. What? King did this? Oh my gosh! Yep, he sure did, and you're gonna be trapped out here forever, Pomni. But I need to go find your friend, Speaker Man, because I don't know where he really went. Well, good luck inside your cell. Oh, Jax, you're so mean! Pomni, I'm literally right here, okay? Well, I'm gonna have to try to get you out of here, because you're literally stuck in a way in a second. There's literally a humongous axe on the table, so maybe I can use this to open your cell. Wow, well, Speaker Man, you're so smart! Yeah, I know. Well, here, let me grab it real quick, and now I can try to open the door. Alright, Pomni, stand back. Alright, Speaker Man, get me out of here! Alright, Pomni, I'll try well, here, let me try real quick, and oh my goodness. I think it's working. Let me see. Ready, set, open, door, and oh my goodness. The door will literally open. You can escape now, Pomni. Yeah, you saved me, Speaker Man. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Mwah. Wait a second, Pomni. What in the heck? Why did he just kiss me? Because, Speaker Man, you're my new boyfriend. Wait a second. What did I just hear? Uh, Oh. There you are, Speaker Man. Get over here. Oh, no, Jax. I'm sorry. Run! You guys are both going to pay for cheating on me, and you know what? I'm locking the door. Oh, no. This is Pat Pomni. We got to find a way out of here. There's no way out of here. You guys are trapped here forever. Ha, 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 ha. Jax, you literally went insane. I know I went insane. You should have never cheated on me, Pomni. But wait a second. Uh, where are you guys going? Pomni, quick, run up these stairs. We got to escape from the room. Well, it seems like that room is locked also. Now, what? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna go back to a dungeon and be a good girl and boy? Or are you gonna meet my sword? Okay, Jax, calm down. I think what we're gonna do is run even more. Yeah, get out of here, Jax. Hey, I can't believe you cheated on me. Oh my gosh, get over here. Bobby, come on. Wait a second. This door is locked too. Why are there so many dead ends in your castle, Jax? You're meeting my sword now. Oh my gosh, run. Oh my gosh, he's literally crazy. Yeah, he sure is. Oh no. Let me use my axe and let me try to chop down the front door. I'm perfect. The door can open now. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, run out quick. Wait a second. Where are they going? Hey, how did you open the door? Get over here. Oh no, he's coming inside the house. Quick, lock the door. Hey, wait a second. Let me in. No way, Pomni. He literally just escaped out of his castle. That was crazy. Jax, I'm so sorry for cheating on you. But I think that was the best option after seeing what you did. Oh, Pomni, I'm sorry. I'm just really jealous that you cheated on me because you are my one true love. So you know what, Pomni? Here, I got you these. Will you please be my girlfriend again, please? No, Jax, you literally trapped me inside of a castle. I didn't even know you had a castle. Wait a second. So you're not going to come back to me? No way. Not even. You know what? I'm done, Pomni. I'm going back to the Amazing Digital Circus, and you're not allowed there anymore. And you can just stay here with your boyfriend, Speaker Man. And me and Kane will be the only ones at the Amazing Digital Circus. Okay, that sounds like a plan. Bye, Jax. And Pomni, now Jax is gone. And I can't believe that you cheated on him. Honey, I'm home. Oh, hey, Speaker Woman. Welcome back home. You want to watch some TV, honey? Oh, yeah. Right now I'm watching Pig, so yeah. I guess we can watch TV together. All right, perfect. I love the show. Yeah, me too. Oh, hey there, honey. Do you want to watch some TV? Wait a second, Speaker Woman. Didn't you just ask me to watch TV? Wait a second. Are there two of you guys? What? Who are you? What? Who are you? I'm Speaker Woman. No, I'm Speaker Woman. Whoa, 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 guys. This is super duper weird. Why are there two of you guys? Oh, my gosh. I don't know what this fake Speaker Woman is doing in my house. House. I am not the fake speaker woman. Guys, one of you guys have to be the fake speaker woman. Because I do not have two girlfriends. Well, speaker man, who do you believe? Who do I believe? Well, you guys literally look the exact same and sound super duper similar. So honestly, I can't really tell. Well, then who do you want to be your girlfriend? Bro, how am I supposed to know? You guys are all the exact same person. We're going to have to do something so I can figure out who's the actual speaker woman. All right, well, I'll do anything because I'm the real speaker woman. No, I am. Oh my gosh, guys. This is so confusing. You know what? We're going to have to play a game and I'm going to have to figure out which one of you guys are real. I'm gonna put you through challenges that only the real speaker woman can do. And whoever completes the most challenges is gonna be my real girlfriend. Oh, well, I better win these challenges because I'm your real girlfriend. No, I'm his real girlfriend. Guys, guys, calm down. You know what? Honestly, I'm gonna start the first challenge right now. For the first challenge, whoever comes back with my favorite food first gets a point. And whoever has the most points at the end of the challenges is my real girlfriend. Oh, all right. I know what your favorite food is. I'll get it first. No, I will. All right, guys, and you're off. And honestly, I'm gonna follow one of you guys to see if you're getting the right food. All right, follow me because I am the real one. Nah, honestly, I'm gonna follow Speaker Woman 2. Uh, all right. Well, Speaker Woman 2, where are we going? We're going to the grocery store to get you a big pizza. What? A big pizza? Really? Uh, okay, that may be my favorite food. And Speaker Man, look, pizza. Oh, pizza. Awesome. Well, Speaker Woman 2, I'm gonna go figure out where Speaker Woman 1 is and I'm gonna check up on her. And Speaker Woman 1, where are you? Oh, hey, Speaker Man, I'm in the ice cream shop. Oh my gosh, the ice cream shop. Uh, all right. Well, what ice cream flavor are you gonna get me? Well, um, I was actually thinking bubblegum because I really feel like you like bubblegum. Actually, uh, no, I don't feel like you like bubblegum. I know you love bubblegum. What? You know I love bubblegum? Uh, alright, yeah, sure. Well, I'm pretty sure both of you guys have chosen your food, so let's go ahead back to the house right now. And then I'll give a point to whoever has my favorite food. And guys, I'll be sitting upstairs in the living room, and I want both of you guys to come up here and present your food to me. Alright, speaker man, here is your favorite food, bubblegum ice cream. Alright, bubblegum ice cream, thanks a lot. Well, that may be my favorite food, but first, let's see what speaker woman to add. So, Speaker Woman 2, come up here. Hey, Speaker Man, here's your favorite food. Oh, pizza. Yeah, pizza's pretty yummy. Well, guys, if you want me to be honest, I think the winner has to be number two. Yay, I knew it. What? Are you serious? You always love bubblegum ice cream. Bro, I do not love bubblegum ice cream. But I literally saw you eating it yesterday. Uh, okay, whatever. Well, it seems like I failed challenge one. But don't worry, Speaker Man. I am your real girlfriend. I am going to win the rest of the challenges. All right, Speaker Woman 1. I'd like to see it. Well, guys, you know what time it is now? It is time for the next challenge. All right, what is it? Well, for this challenge, you guys are going to have to take me to the, my favorite place in the world on a special day. Oh, this is going to be so easy. I know the exact place we can go. Yeah, me too, Speaker Woman. All right, guys. Well, who wants to take me on a date first? Me, 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 me. All right, all right, Speaker Woman 2. I guess I'll go on a date with you first. And guys, by the way, whoever brings me on the best date gets another point. Huh, my date's going to be better than yours. Okay, we'll see about that. Come on, Speaker Man, let's go. All right, and Speaker Woman 1, get ready for your date. And to start off our date, I got horses that we we can ride to our special spot. Wait, what? You literally got us horses that we can ride? This is awesome. Yeah, it sure is. Well, where's our date even gonna be at, Speaker Woman 2? Well, follow me and I'll show you. Uh, alright. I really wonder where this place is gonna be and hopefully it's my favorite spot ever. And look, we're almost here. No way. Are we gonna have our date on that yacht right over there? Uh, no. We're gonna have it on this nice little picnic I prepared. Bro, are you serious? A small, tiny island? Oh, alright. Well, I'm sorry. 
sorry, Speaker Man, but I'm not rich, and you know that. Yeah, I guess I do know that. Well, Speaker Woman, too, what do we do now? Well, we can just sit in our chairs and eat and watch the clouds. Bro, watch the clouds, really? The clouds aren't even moving. Well, you can imagine what shapes there are, maybe. No, honestly, I can't. And Speaker Woman, I'm not gonna lie, this date is kind of boring. Why would I just sit on the beach and not even go for a swim? Well, you can go for a swim, but we just got some food. Oh, some food? Let me look at this and wait a second. Are you kidding me? This is none of my favorite food either. Well, you already had pizza today, so I thought we should try something new. No, if you were my actual girlfriend, you would know that I eat the pizza majority of the time. Yes, I know that. That's why I got so many different foods, Speaker Man. And I thought this would just be a nice date, just the two of us, but I guess it's not, so I'm leaving. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, see ya. And guys, honestly, this date was kind of boring, and she didn't even bring me my favorite food ever. Well, here, I'm gonna have my horse, I'm gonna head back to the house. I wonder what day Speaker Woman 1 has planned for me. Now, I'm already back home, and it seems like Speaker Woman 2 is already here as well. Well, I'm gonna head upstairs and hello, Speaker Woman 1. It is now time for your date, so where are you even gonna bring me? Oh my gosh, Speaker Man, I've been thinking about this date for the whole entire day. I'll show you where I'm gonna bring you. Follow me. Uh, okay, Speaker Woman 1. Hopefully this day is better than Speaker Woman 2's. Oh, trust me, Speaker Man, it will be way better than hers, and look at this. We are going to ride this to the dates. No way, a bright red motorcycle? That looks amazing. Yeah, I know it does, and you get to drive it. No way, I can drive this beauty. Holy mackerel, thank you so much. Well, um, how about you go ahead and go to the beach? Bro, the beach, really? Uh, all right, I'll go back to the beach. Wait a second, why don't you like the beach? Because this beach right here is so small and tiny. Oh, well, I wasn't talking about the beach. I was talking about that yacht right there. Wait a second. We're going on this humongous yacht right here? Yep, we sure are. So hop in the water and swim over. No way, this is awesome. And look at this beautiful yacht. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so much fun. I'm so happy that it's just me and you. Yeah, I'm so happy that we're on a yacht right now. This is awesome. Look at this whole entire thing. Whoa. And if we go up here, here are the controls for the yacht. And in the front, there's like a balcony. No way. Can we get up here? Yep, we sure can. And we can sit on these chairs. And it's so relaxing and beautiful. Yeah, it sure is. Huh? I love being on a yacht so much. Yeah, I know you do. That's why I picked it for our perfect date. But the date's not over yet. I got you a present. No way. You got me a present? On top of this yacht? Oh, my gosh. What is the present, Speaker Woman? One. Well, here you go, Speaker Man. How about you open it? Uh, all right, yeah, I'll open it. So let's open it. And <laughs> oh, wait, it's a new cell phone. Yep, it sure is, Speaker Man. I cannot believe it. You literally got me this yacht and this cell phone. You are the best, Speaker Woman 1. Yeah, I know. I would love to see Speaker Woman 2 try to top this. I bet her date was so bad. Our date was way better. And that's why I'm the real Speaker Woman. Yeah, honestly, this date was much better than hers. Well, Speaker Woman 1, we still have a lot more challenges to do, so she can maybe still beat you. Ha, uh, all right. Well, let's go ahead back to the house so I can decide whose date was the best. And we're back home, and guys, I now have to tell you whose date was better. And whoever had the better day, I have to give a point to. So I'll start off with Speaker Woman 2. Speaker Woman 2, you had a pretty good idea. You took me to the beach, but I didn't like any of the food at all. What? That's not fair. I'm literally your girlfriend. All right, whatever you say. Well, Speaker Woman 1, I like that date 1,000 times better than hers. Because we went on a yacht, and she got me a cell phone. See, I knew it would be better than yours, Speaker Woman. What? I'm literally too poor to get him any gifts. He knows that. Well, Speaker Woman 2, the real Speaker Woman would have gotten him a gift. And I am the real Speaker Woman, so I got him a gift. Well, it seems like we both have one point. Yeah, but honestly, Speaker Woman 2 is kind of speaking fast. Because I know my girlfriend is super duper broke. Hey, why are you calling me broke? I'm not calling you broke. You literally got me this iPhone and brought me to a yacht. Well, I'm your girlfriend. All right, well, I think we'll see after the challenge, guys. And for the challenge, you guys are going to have to buy me a car. Oh, I can totally afford that. What? I can't afford a car. Well, it sucks for you. Well, guys, you can start getting me a car now. All right, I'll give you the best car ever. All right, I want to see it. Speaker Man, I'm literally too broke to get you a car. I'm your girlfriend. Trust me. I mean, yeah, my girlfriend is kind of broke. Well, I still need you to buy me a car. So go ahead now and go buy me a car. And I'm going to see what Speaker Woman 1 is going to buy me. So let me hop on this horse right here and I'm going to follow her. Hey guys, look, Speaker Woman 1 is walking in right now. I wonder what car she's going to buy me here. I'm just going to spot on her real fast. Oh, hey there, car skibbity. I would love to buy a car. All right, but we'll only have one car in the shop right now and it's a Bugatti. No way, a Bugatti. Oh my gosh, a Bugatti. Are you serious? Can I go see it? Oh uh, yeah, sure. Follow me. All right, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I actually might buy this car. 
No way. She's going to buy me a Bugatti. That would be so insane if she does. And oh my gosh, it's red. Speaker Man's favorite color is red. So this is the perfect car for him. Yup, it sure is. But it costs $1 million. Do you have $1 million? $1 million? Uh, yeah, I have $1 million. All right, perfect. Well, go inside and we can pay. No way. $1 million car. That would be so insane if she actually bought it for me. Well, Car Skibbity, here is the money. All right, thank you so much. The car is now yours. Oh my gosh, Speaker Man is going to love this car. And I'm going to be his girlfriend. Wait a second. She just said she's going to be my girlfriend. That's kind of weird. But the car is nice, so I'm going to head back to the house. And wait a second. Speaker Woman 2 is already here. Hey, Speaker Woman 2, where's your car? Oh, um, well, like I said, I don't have a lot of money, so I can't afford a car. But I already know that Speaker Man has a perfectly fine car, so he doesn't need another one. Well, look at this. I just bought my boyfriend a Bugatti. And yes. it's red. It looks so amazing. And I got you some red roses to show you how much I love you. Oh, well, thanks a lot, Speaker Woman 2. Well, I'm the one that actually got him a real car, which means I'm his real girlfriend. Well, he knows that his real girlfriend cannot afford a Bugatti. So you got him some puny flowers? Are you serious? Well, he loves my puny flowers. And they show that I love him more than a car. Oh, guys, I really like your Bugatti. I really love your flowers. Well, Speaker 1, I have something to tell you. Oh, my gosh, what is it? Did I win? Oh, uh, no. Because I was spying on you on my horse when you were buying the car. And then you said, I cannot wait until Speaker Man becomes my boyfriend. Or something around those lines. So that means you're not my girlfriend. And Speaker Woman 2 is my real girlfriend. What? Are you serious? I cannot say that. And look, I literally just bought you this new car. It was literally a million dollars, and it's red, and it's so beautiful, and you don't even want it. Well, honestly, I want it, but I know that my girlfriend is super duper poor. And she can never afford a Bugatti. So therefore, Speaker Woman 2 is my real girlfriend. See, I told you I was your real girlfriend. Yeah, I'm sorry for not believing you, Speaker Woman. Oh, wait a second. Speaker Woman 1, who are you? Oh, my gosh. Dang it, I almost tricked you, Speaker Man. But I'm still keeping this car. Bye-bye. No, no, I want the car. Oh, my gosh. Well, Speaker Woman, at least I have you. Well, the way I met TV Woman was I was being super duper strong at the gym. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that. Well, Speaker Man, do you remember how you met TV Woman? Well, huh, let me think real quick. Oh, I got it. It went just like this. All right, class, welcome to your first day of school. Today, we are going to be doing the first day of school quiz for your math test. Oh, I cannot wait for this. No one asked, Red Boy. Wait, what the heck? My name is not Red Boy. My name is literally Speaker Man. Uh, whatever. All right, class. Well, now it's time to pass out your math test. So go ahead and take this paper, and then we can get started. Uh, all right, Mr. Teacher, and I'm going to win this math test. Uh, no, I'm going to win. All right, class, settle down. Everybody focus up. This is going to be the hardest math test you will ever have in this class. So make sure you do your work by yourself and you answer all the questions. And while you guys are doing this, I'm going to go on my lunch break. Oh, all right, Mr. Teacher. Hey, dumb red kid, what are all the answers? Bro, what? Did you just call me dumb red kid? I am not dumb, but I am a red kid. And I'm not giving you the answers. What? But why not? Because you're literally so sassy and weird. But the teacher's literally not in the classroom. Just give me the answer. Nope, I'm not going to give you the answers. Uh, you know what? I'm done with this test. I'm leaving. Wait, what? What the heck? Why are you leaving? The teacher's gonna get so mad at you. Uh, I don't care what the teacher said. Oh my gosh, if he catches us, we're literally gonna be in so much trouble. Are you kids? Why are you out of the classroom? You're supposed to be taking your test. Well, Speakerman said that we could leave. Wait, what? No, what the heck? No, I'm a good student. I would never leave the class. Ah, uh, Speakerman, are you lying to me? What? No, Mr. Skibbity. Why would I be lying to you? I literally have the math test right here. Well, I had to stop doing it because this dumb girl literally ran outside. What? No, I did not. You dragged me outside. All right, you know what, Speakerman? You're going to the principal's office. Come on. Bro, wait. What the heck? No, no, no. Mr. Skibbity, I don't want to go. Bye-bye, dumb red kid. Oh, my goodness. I did nothing wrong. Yes, you did do something wrong. You left the class without finishing your math test. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe that this is happening. She literally dragged me out there. And by the way, Mr. Skibbity, she literally wanted to cheat off me for the math test. Yeah, whatever. Keep making up lies. Dude, it is not a lie. You know what? I'm getting out of the school right now. See ya. Wait a second. You can't leave. Hey, get back here. Too bad, Mr. Skibbity. I'm done. You're not allowed to leave the principal's office. Mr. Skibbity, he ran out the door. Well, TV woman, I guess you can go home also. See you later. Thank you, Mr. Skibbity. Have a great day. Guys, my first day of school literally went terrible, and I hate that girl so much. Wait a second. Why is she coming towards me? Hey, what are you doing? Well, my house is this way, so I have to walk home. Well, my house is this way also. Oh, really? Where do you live? Oh, I live on Brookhaven Avenue. What? Same here. Wait a second. Are we neighbors? Uh, I hope we're not. I don't want to see you anymore. Yeah, I don't want to see you. You're literally so sassy. Well, my house is right here. And my house is right here. What the heck? We're literally neighbors. Oh, this is so 
so annoying. Yep, it sure is. I cannot believe that this is happening. Oh, my goodness, guys. That TV woman is literally my neighbor. I cannot believe it. Well, you know what? I'm just going to go upstairs, and I'm going to chill. So I'm just going to lay in my bed, and I'm going to stay here for the rest of the night. Hey there, little girl. Give me your bike. Uh, no, this is my bike. Wait a second. What is going on? I think there's someone at TV woman's house. Hold on. Wait, what the heck? Is that bully toilet? No, come on, little girl. Give me your bike. No, move. I got places to be. Well, you're going to have to go to those places walking, because I'm taking your bike, little girl. Ah, uh, give me my bike. Hey, Skibbity Bully, stop it right now. Bullying is bad. You should not bully this girl. And who do you think you are? Oh, uh, dude, I'm literally Speaker Man. You've literally bullied me before. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. Well, that bike was looking really delicious, so I decided to take it. And she's not getting it back anytime soon. Bye-bye. Wait, what? No, no, no. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry that I stole your bike, TV woman. I mean, I guess that's what you get for being sassy and stuff. <laughs> my bike, my daddy got me that. Can you help me get it back, please? I'm sorry for being sassy. Bro, after after everything you did today, you want me to help you get it back? Yes, please. But Bully Toilet literally has your bike. I need my bike back. Oh, my goodness. You know what? All right, TV woman, I'll help you under one condition. You got to promise me that you'll stop being sassy, all right? Uh, all right, I guess. All right, good. Well, TV woman, now I will help you get your bike back. Well, where should we even start? Well, do you know where he lives? Because maybe he brought his bike back to his house. Well, I'm uh, pretty sure Bully Toilet literally lives across the map. Oh, really? Well, let's go get my bike back, and hopefully he doesn't catch up. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't, because if he does, something really bad will probably happen. And TV woman, I think there should be his house right up here. Wait a second, shh, be quiet. I literally see him right up there. He's riding your bike inside of his house. Oh, that bully is so mean. Let me go get my bike back. Boy, TV woman, shh, be quiet. No, 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 no. If he sees you, he'll literally beat us both up. Hey, fat bully, give me my bike back. No, TV woman, don't. Oh, look who it is. It's TV woman. Oh, really? Is it me? Uh, yes, it's you. You're literally right in front of my face. Well, give me my bike back. That's not yours. It's mine. No, I'm not giving you this bike back. I took it from you, little girl. Oh, my gosh, bully toilet. Please give her the bike back, please. And why should I do that? Well, dude, I literally do not want anything bad to happen, okay? So just give her the bike back, and then we can just leave. Well, stupid red boy, I'm not giving the bike back. <laughs> Ow! Hey, stop hitting him. <laughs> Oh, that hurts so bad. Uh, take that. Ha, 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 little girl. Those hits don't even do anything. You're never going to take me down, and you're never going to get your bike back. What? Are you serious? Speaker man, wake up. We got to go get my bike back. Oh, my head hurts. Oh, come on. Get up. Oh, oh, my gosh. Okay, okay, I'm up. What just happened? Did I just get knocked out by that fat guy? Yes, the big bully knocked you out. Oh, my gosh. And uh, by the way, why are you even here? I kind of forgot. Like a second ago, weren't you sassy? Yeah, I was. But we're friends now, so we have to get my bike back once and for all. Come on, let's go. What? We're friends now. I thought we were enemies. Uh, well, it turns out that you're not so bad. Uh, all right. Well, let's go get your bike back. All right. Yeah. Let's figure out where he is. Yeah, let's go. And TV woman, this is the first place that we're going to check the ice cream store. So let's see if the bully's in here and let's see. No, the bully's not in here. I don't think anyone else is in here either. Well, while we're here, do you think we should steal some ice cream? What? Steal some ice cream? Uh, maybe. Yeah. I guess we can. So here, I'm going to steal some birthday cake and mm, this is so delicious. Uh, hello there, guys. What are you guys doing inside the ice cream store? Uh, what the heck? Who are you, little kid? I'm the owner of the ice cream store. Uh, how are you an owner? You're literally a baby. Yeah, you're legit a baby in a diaper. Well, because I'm actually a millionaire. Now, hey, you guys aren't allowed to eat the ice cream. You guys have to pay for it first. Well, dude, get it if you can, because you literally cannot. You're so tiny. No, I'm not tiny. I'm little Timmy. Wait, what the heck? Now, get rid of that ice cream. Oh, I want the ice cream, though. I've had such a bad day. I don't care if you've had a bad day. You need to pay for the ice cream. Oh, my goodness, little kid. We cannot pay for the ice cream. We're searching for a boy. Do you happen to know where he is? I the bully? I've actually seen the bully before. He usually comes here. And he actually came a few minutes ago to get his ice cream, and then he said he's going to, like, a red guy's house, but I don't really know who that is. Wait a second. A red guy's house? Huh? Who could he be talking about? Uh, Speaker Man, he's literally talking about you. Wait a second. I'm the red guy, and wait a second. He's at my house right now? And if he's at your house, he must have my bike there. Oh my gosh, yeah, he probably does. Well, thanks a lot, little Timmy. Yep, good luck. Hopefully you guys don't get beat up, because I know he's super duper strong. Yeah, he sure is, and hopefully we get your bike back, TV woman. Yes, I hope we do, too. Well, let's go to my house, and let's figure out what he's doing there. Hey, TV woman, we're at my house right now, but honestly, I did not see this bully anywhere. Yeah, I know. Where could he be? Oh, I'm not really sure here. Let's check upstairs real fast and wait a second. Bully toilet? What are you doing inside my house? <laughs> your house is gonna get destroyed. Dude, stop it right now. I don't want my house to get destroyed. You're yeah. never going to get this bike back. <laughs> no, dude, come back here. Oh, my gosh. TV one, come on. We gotta get your bike. Bad. Yeah, you big bully, get off my bike. No, I will never get off your bike. See ya, suckers. Ha <laughs> ha.
now. Wait, what the heck? Oh my goodness. TV Woman, we lost him once again. We gotta get your bike back soon. Because if not, something bad's probably gonna happen to your bike. Yeah, I don't want my bike to get broken. That would really suck. Yeah, sure it would. Well, TV Woman, I guess we have to search for him again. And this time, I think we need to find someone that can help us. So wait a second. Let's go to the police station. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's go. So let's go inside and hey there, Mr. Police Man. We need you to help us battle you. Well, hey there, guys. What seems to be the issue? My bike was stolen by a big bully. What, your bike was stolen? Uh, okay, do you know his name? Yeah, his name is literally Bully Toilet, and we need your help getting it back. Well, okay, his name is Bully Toilet. Do you know where he lives? Oh, uh, yeah, he literally lives on the trail park, like, all the way over that way. Okay, well, we can send a cop over there and get your bike back. But it's gonna take a few hours, because we really don't have any police cars right Bro, now. Bro, what? Are you serious? A few hours? We don't have a few hours. Yeah, what if something bad happens to my bike? Well, guys, there's not much I can do. I'm sorry. It's either you guys wait a few hours, or you go get it yourself. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe it, Mr. Policeman. You literally got one job, and that's to help people. Oh, TV woman. I think we're gonna have to go back to the bully's house. We're gonna have to try to take it for ourselves again. Yeah, and hopefully this time we don't get beat up. Yeah, hopefully we don't. Well, let's go to his house. And speaker woman, we're back at his house, but wait a second. Before we go there, we gotta make a plan to get your bike back. Yeah, we sure do, but what are you thinking? Well, how about this? I can distract him, and you can go steal the bike. Oh, huh, that's not a bad idea, but look at him. He's burning my bike right now. Wait a second. He's burning your bike? Oh my gosh. We gotta act fast. Go, go, go. Ha, ha, ha. No one will ever get this bike. Hey, Mr. Bully, stop burning my bike. Oh, look who it is. It's TV Woman. You're never going to see this bike ever again because I'm going to burn it into ashes. Oh, Mr. Bully, you're not going to burn this bike. Hey, what? why do you put out my fire? I was going to burn it. Ha, ha, ha. That's what you get. And now, Bully, we're going to take her bike back. Yeah, we sure are. Yeah, uh, take this. Oh. Oh, my gosh. We literally got your bike back, TV Woman. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much for getting my bike back. Now we have to get out of here before he wakes up fast. Yeah, we sure do. Let's go. Uh, and, guys, that is how TV Woman and I met. Well, that was a great story. I remember that like it was yesterday. And this potion turns you into a bird. And once again, thank you so much for testing my potion. Yeah, no problem, Skibbity Toilet. Well, here, let me just drink this on up. And yo, huh, this tastes kind of weird. And whoa, what am I feeling right now? Is this love? Wait, what? Love potion? Uh, I thought this was the bird potion. Oh, no, wait a second. Did I give you the wrong potion? Uh, I'm in love with the speaker woman. Oh, phew. Thankfully, you're not in love with me. Well, uh, hey, please get out of my secret lair. Okay, Skibbity Toilet. And guys, I am so in love with speaker woman. I honestly want her to marry me. So, you know what? I'm going to find her. I'm going to ask her to be my girlfriend. I'm going to do everything I can to make her love me. And I'm here. Hello, Speaker Woman. Are you home? Uh, hello. Who is it? It's me, Speaker Man. And I have a super serious question to ask you. Uh, what is it, Speaker Man? Well, will you, will you, will you marry me? What? No. Huh? Are you serious? Why won't you marry me? We're just friends, Speaker Man. You already know that. What? Oh, my gosh. Come on. Well, can you be my girlfriend at least? No, I'm sorry, Speaker Man. You're acting so weird. What happened to you? Honestly, I'm just in love with you so much. But you know what? Since you don't want to marry me and you don't want to be my girlfriend, I'm going to try everything I can to make you fall in love with me. Uh, please don't. It's not going to change anything. Oh, trust me, it will. Because this is super bad. She does not want to marry me and she does not want to be my girlfriend, so I have to figure out what her favorite things are. And maybe if I give her her favorite things, then it will make her fall in love with me. Okay. Well, uh, maybe she likes a pet animal. So I'm going to head over to the pet store and I can buy a pet animal. And now I'm at the pet store and, uh, oh, okay. This place looks kind of sketchy, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to buy a pet. So the speaker woman will love me and, uh, hey there, are you a pet seller? Uh, yeah, I'm a pet seller. Do you want a pet? Uh, yeah, what pets do you even sell? Well, we sell cats, dogs, dogs, cats, and dogs. Oh, all right. Well, can I buy a dog, please? Sure, you can buy a dog. You can pick out whichever one you want. Uh, all right. Well, this one looks kind of cute and this one looks, okay, that's pretty scary. And wait a second, this dog dog always beautiful. Hey, how much is this dog right here? I want to buy him. Oh, that dog is the most expensive one. But you can buy him for $50. $50? No way. All right. And here you go, Mr. Dog here. Come with me. And your name's going to be Smoofles. Woof, woof, yay. And all right, Smoofles, I'm going to be giving you to my friend, Speaker Woman. And Smoofles, are you ready for this to be your new home? Woof, woof, yes. All right, perfect. Wait, what? You're walking inside? Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. What is this rabid beast doing in my house? Uh-oh, okay. This is not good, guys. I think she just called Smoofles. Smoofles of rabid bees. Oh my gosh, how'd you get in my house? Woof, woof, woof. Ah, help me. 
Uh -oh, okay, this is bad. Oh, Snoop, we'll stop it, buddy. You know, Speaker Woman, where are you? Speaker Man, you're just in time. This rabbit beast just broke into my house. Woof, woof, woof. Okay, okay, Snoop, we'll stop it. And I'm sorry, Speaker Woman. This is the new dog that I bought for you. I wanted to surprise you with him because I thought if I surprised you with a pet dog, then you would be my girlfriend or you would marry me. Speaker Man, I already said I'm not interested in you. I'm so sorry. Come on, there must be one thing that I can do to get you to marry me. Well, there is one thing. Wait, really? Oh, uh, what is it? For you to get out of my house. What? Are you serious? And I will keep this dog. Woof, woof, woof. No, not the dog. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, trust me. I'll get you to fall in love with me. I think I was falling in love with this dog before yeah, I fall in love with you. What? Are you serious? Oh, man. Guys, this sucks. Wait a second. I think she just said she would fall in love with that dog before she fell in love with me. So, what if I dress up as a dog? And maybe after I do that, I can sneak into her house and then she'll love me. No way. Okay, guys. This is the best idea ever. So, I'm going to go find the costume man and I'm going to buy a dog costume from him. Huh, let's see. He's back here in this alleyway. And, oh, hey there, Skibbity Costume Man. Oh, hey there, young traveler. Are you looking for a costume? Oh, uh, yeah. Actually, I am. Do you have a dog costume by chance? A dog costume? Let me go look in my bag real quick. And let me take a look. And it seems like I do have a dog costume for you. No way. Do you actually? All right. Well, how much would it be? Well, are you a first time customer to my shop? Oh, uh, yeah. I actually am. All right. Well, it seems then it will be free. Free? Holy mackerel. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Skippy Costume Man. I cannot wait to put it on. Yep. No problem. It will make you look like an amazing dog. All right. Thanks a lot, Mr. Skippy Costume Man. So here, let me change real fast, guys. And whoa, look at me, guys. I'm literally a dog. And if honestly, I think this is going to make Speaker Woman fall in love with me. So I'm going to head back to her house. And I'm going to pretend to be a dog straight at her door. All right, guys. I'm at her house right now. So I have to walk like a dog. And perfect. Okay, here. Let me knock on the door. Woof, woof, woof. Is anyone home? Oh, this better not be Speaker Man knocking on my door again. Oh, uh, woof, woof, woof. Can I come inside? Oh, my gosh. Why is there another dog at my door? Oh, uh, hey. Can I come inside? Woof, woof. Uh, I guess so. Well, doggy, what's your name? Uh, my name is uh, Speaker Doggy. Wow, you're very muscular. Yeah, I know. I train in the Olympics. Well, Speaker Doggy, would you like something to eat? Oh, uh, yeah. I would like your whole entire French breeze. Uh, no, that's not going to work. I have to feed Snuffles. What? Uh, Snuffles? Who is uh, Snuffles? Snuffles, come here, boy. Meet this new dog. Woof, woof, woof. Uh, hey there, Snuffles. Uh, Snuffles, what are you doing, buddy? Woof, woof. Oh, it stinks. What? The doggy stinks? Maybe he needs a bath. Come on, doggy. Let's go upstairs. What? Are you serious? A bath, though? Uh, okay. Yeah, woof, woof. Guys, I cannot believe I snuck into the house and she's already getting to like me. Maybe my plan will work and she'll fall in love with me. Okay, let me just go in the bathroom and woof, woof, woof. Okay, speaker doggy, get in the bathroom. Woof, woof, woof. And, uh, this is going, I mean, no, woof, 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 woof. Uh, I didn't know doggies could speak English. Oh, uh, woof. I guess you guys went to a doggy school or something. Yes, yes. Well, let me clean you off real fast. And guys, I have something to tell you. Woof, woof, woof. I think I like speaker man. Wait, what? I mean, a uh, woof, woof. Yeah, I think I like him. I mean, he is the reason I got Snuffles. And at first, I didn't like Snuffles. But now, Snuffles is my best friend. Well, do you like me? I mean, a uh, woof, woof. Well, speaker doggy, your shower is done. And yeah, I guess I like you, too. Let's go. I mean, woof, woof, woof. Uh, you're acting a little strange, though. Maybe you should go to bed. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, a uh, woof, woof. Come on, Snuffles. It's time for your dinner. And guys, she literally just said she liked me. So maybe I can reveal myself to her later on today. And after I reveal myself, maybe she'll get married to me. Okay, well, here. She told me to go to bed, but I'm not going to go to bed because I want to spend some more time with her. So let me just go downstairs and, uh, hey there. Oh, hey there, Speaker Doggy. Here's some food for you. Okay, thanks. I mean, uh, woof, woof. And, uh, okay, I do not like this food. Oh, you don't like dog food? Woof, 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 woof. Uh, hey there, guys. What a funny coincidence it is. Oh, my God, Speaker Man, you were the dog? Oh, uh, no. I think I just got, like, teleported in your house or something. Get out of my house. Woof, woof, woof. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry, guys. And to think I was starting to like you. Speaker woman, I'm so sorry. I just really like you a lot. Now go get the strange love addiction to me reverse. What? Are you serious? Oh, my gosh. Guys, she literally just told me to get the strange love condition reverse. So maybe after I do that, she'll love me. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to figure out where Skippy Cold is. And maybe he can reverse it for me. So let's think. Where would he be? Well, he's usually at his lab. So I'm going to head there first. Huh, so let me go inside a secret hide on. Hello, Skippy Toilet. Are you even in here? And no, I don't think he is. Oh, man. Well, let me check down here. And 
Whoa. And nope, he is still not here. Uh, well, there's only like one other place where I think Skippy Toilet would be. And I think that's a beach resort. So I'm just going to head there and hopefully he's there because I really got to turn back in myself so I can use Speaker Room to love me. So let's see. Hello, Skippy Toilet. Are you here? Huh? Maybe he's on that yacht over there. Hey, what's up, Speaker Man? Oh, hey there, Skippy Toilet. I have a favor to ask you. Speaker Man, no can do right now. I'm on vacation. What? But please, it's urgent. Oh, okay. What is it, Speaker Man? Well, can you please get rid of this love potion on me? What? Why? I thought you liked Speaker Woman. Yeah, I do a lot, but she told me to get rid of this love potion. And maybe after I do that, she'll love me for real. Well, I don't really know how to reverse it right now, and like I said, I'm still on vacation. Come on, Skippy Toilet. Please help me. I need Speaker Woman to love me. Oh, fine. Come on, Speaker Man. Let's go. Wait, really? Holy mackerel. Thank you so much, Skippy Toilet. I cannot wait to turn back to myself. And hopefully she'll love me after that. And we're here. Come on. Let's go inside the basement. Okay, Skippy Toilet. Now go ahead and take a seat. Let me look at my potions. All right. And there are the ingredients. Okay. Now what I need you to do is take a bite of this rose petal. All right, Skippy Toilet. Yum, 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 yum. All right, good. And now I need you to drink this drink. All right, Skippy Toilet. Shlark. And whoa, what is happening to me? And whoa, wait a second. I think I'm back myself. Yep, you sure are. Now hopefully Speaker Woman will love you. But why didn't she love you when you had the love potion? Well, I was so obsessed with her that she kind of got creeped out by it. And she told me to get rid of the love potion, so maybe she'll love me now. Oh, all right. Well, I'm going to go back to the resort now. Please do not bother me again. Okay, thanks a lot, Skippy Toilet. I'm going to head straight to her house to apologize to her. And hopefully she'll actually love me once I get there. Not back at her house. Hello, Speaker Woman. Are you home? I want to apologize. Oh, hey, Speaker Man. Are you back to normal now? Yeah, Speaker Woman. I'm back to normal now. I want to say I'm super duper sorry for everything I did. Don't worry. It's okay. What really? Oh, thank you so much. Well, I have one final question. Can you be my girlfriend, please? Well, honestly, you got me snuffles, so sure, we can try it. No way, yes. Thank you so much for the best speaker woman. And now it's time for our first prank. Let's fart on Speaker Man. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so funny. Here I go. Oh, that stinks. Hey, now it's my turn. Oh, oh what the heck is that smell? Haha, <laughs> give prank. Quick, Speaker Woman, we got to get out of here. Guys, what are you doing? Oh, they literally just farted straight in my face to wake me up. That smells disgusting. Oh my gosh, that was the funniest prank ever. Oh my gosh, which one of you guys had tacos last night? Oh man. Guys, that is so annoying. My best friend's literally farted in my face and pranked. Me. Oh my gosh, you know what? I'm gonna have to get revenge on them, but how could I do that, huh? Maybe I can pull a prank on them. Well, let me think. What can I do? Oh, I guess I'll think about it later. Oh my gosh, Speaker Man, that was the funniest prank in the whole entire world, dude. We literally got you. We farted directly on your face. Bro, why would you guys do that? Because it's such a funny prank. Yeah, and I was the one that had tacos last night. Bro, are you kidding me? Well, guys, I just want to let you know. Be aware because someone is gonna be pranking you today. What, Speaker Man? Do you really think you can prank us? Yeah, you really think you could prank us? We're literally the prank masters and you got pranked. Yeah, guys, honestly, I think I can make 10 times better pranks than you guys. What? Are you serious? Uh, no, I actually think you're lying. There's no way that you could do better pranks than us. <laughs> Trust me, guys. I'm gonna pull off the best pranks ever. And you won't even realize that it was me. All right, whatever you say, take this. What the heck? Speaker Man, you didn't even expect us to pour water on you. Bro, why would you guys prank me two times in a row? Because pranks are so much fun. Yep, they sure are. And you're never gonna be able to prank us back. Oh my gosh, you guys are so annoying. And I'm all wet now, so I have to go change my clothes. But guys, I just want to let you know that I'm going to get revenge on you guys. And you won't see it coming. Trust me. All right, Speaker Man, keep thinking that you're going to be able to prank us. Well, me and Speaker Woman are just going to go to our house. See ya. Bye, Speaker Man. See ya, guys. Oh, guys, honestly, I cannot believe that my girlfriend and my best friend literally just pranked me two times in a row. First, they farted on my face, and then they poured water on me. Oh, my gosh. Well, here, I have to go change my clothes real fast. But after that, I think I'm going to go figure out how I can prank them. And perfect. I got my tuxedo back on. Guys, now that I have my tuxedo back on, I think it's time to start the pranking. So I'm going to head down the stairs real fast and wait. Why is there a for sale sign at my house? What? My house is not for sale. Oh, hello there. Uh, who's that speaking to me? Oh my gosh. Who are you? Did you just put my house up for sale? No, I did not put your house up for sale. I saw some people come over and they just put the sign here or something. Oh my gosh. That had to be speaker woman and cameraman. Yeah, it seems like they're pranking you. Are you okay? No, this is literally the third time they pranked me today. And I want to do something about that. I want to pull so many pranks on them so badly. Well, if you pull the pranks on them, then you're gonna get caught. Well, yeah, probably. Unless you have a solution to that. Well, lucky for you, I do have a solution. Wait, what? Really? Uh, what is it? Well, I have an invisibility potion, and you can use it so you don't get caught by your friends. Wait, no way. An invisibility potion? Yep, an invisibility potion. Would you like to buy it? Uh, 
Uh, yeah, sure, if it can help me park my friends. All right, perfect. Well, it's only one dollar. Huh? Only one dollar? Oh, okay, don't mind if I do. All right, thank you so much for your money, and uh, let me look inside my potion drawer real quick. And let's see, which one is the correct potion? No, that's the baby potion. That's the pooping potion. And oh, there it is, the invisibility potion. All right, here you go. All right, mister, thanks a lot. So you're saying if I drink this, I can turn invisible, and then I can prank all my friends? Yup, that is correct, but there is a time limit on the invisibility. It only lasts for a certain amount of time, and I don't really know how much time it is because I kind of forgot. Bro, are you kidding me? All right, well, at least I have an invisibility potion. Thanks a lot, Mr. Mystical Man. Yeah, no problem, but make sure to be very careful because it could go out at any second, and I don't want you to get caught. Okay, bye-bye. All right, thanks a lot. See ya. Hey, guys, I cannot believe that just happened. I just bought an invisibility potion, and once I drink this invisibility potion, I can literally prank my friends, guys. So here, I think I'm actually gonna drink it right now, so let's see what happens. And, oh, uh, wait, did anything happen? Are you serious? Oh, my gosh, I think that guy was scamming me. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe that just happened. He came over here, and then he sold it to me for one dollar, so I guess he pranked me as well. Well, you know what? Since I'm already here, I might as well just head to the grocery store so I can get some food. And, uh, the grocery store, I cannot wait to get some food, so, uh, what should I even get? Well, there's Reese's bars and Hershey's bars right here, but, uh, I don't like any of those. I like Mr. Beast bars, but it doesn't seem like they have any, but, oh, Doritos, don't mind if I do. And here, let me get a pizza and let's see, are there any beverages I should get? Huh, I can either get a water or Coca-Cola. No way. Okay, okay. I'm gonna get myself a Coca-Cola. I love this so much. And hello, mister. I would like to buy this pizza, this Dorito, and this Coca-Cola. Do, 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 do. Uh, hello, mister. Do you see me right here? Uh, I think it's time for my break. I'm just gonna go on break. Bro, are you kidding me? Are you too short to see me? Hello, kid. Wait a second. Is the door even open? Oh, yeah, okay. okay. Bro, hello. Do you see this floating pizza in front of your face? Am I invisible right now, guys? I think I may be invisible unless this kid is deaf. Oh, hello, kid. Wait a second. Why is there a floating pizza? Is there a ghost inside of the grocery store? I gotta get out of here. Uh, okay, well, I guess that proves my theory. Guys, I'm officially invisible. And it seems like this potion worked after all. So I'm gonna head over to my friend's house real fast. And then I'm gonna start all the pranks on them. And guys, I'm here now. So I'm just gonna walk straight inside of their house. And wait, what, what are they even doing on the couch? So speaker woman, what prank do you want to pull next? Ooh, I know. We should get his credit card, buy a fake phone, throw it at him, and then when he's mad, we throw more water in him, and when he gets even more mad, then we can throw a birthday cake in his face so there's cake all over his face. Oh my gosh, that is a great idea, and then we can fart in his face. Yes, that'd be so funny. Bro, what the heck did they just say? Oh man, that's gonna be the best prank in the whole entire world. I'm so excited. I am too, but I gotta go to a hair appointment first. What, well, speaker woman, why do you have to go to a hair appointment? You don't even have any hair. Uh, yes, I do. It's just under my head. Okay, whatever, speaker woman. Well, uh, have a good hair appointment, but make sure to come back because we need a prank, speaker man. Don't worry, I will, cameraman. And guys, she's all to her hair appointment. Wait a second. That just gave me a genius idea. What if I sneak in there since I'm invisible and then I mess up her hair? That would be so hilarious. All right. Well, I'm gonna follow her to the hair salon and I'm gonna pull that prank on her. And oh my gosh, I cannot wait to get my hair done. Hey, Felicia. Oh my gosh. Hey, speaker woman. Are you ready to get your hair done? Yes, I am so ready. Oh my gosh, girl. Your hair is going to slay. All right, girl, but I just want to trim today, though. Okay, girl, don't worry. I'm only gonna give you a tiny trim. Okay, thank you, girly. Well, you wait here real quick because I really gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. And guys, Felicia literally just went to the bathroom. So now I think it's my time to strike. So here, I'm gonna mess up her whole entire hair. This isn't gonna be a layer since she's on her fill right now. So she won't even know who it is. All right. Well, here, let me start cutting her hair. And look at the top of her head. Wait, what? Who's touching my hair? Oh my gosh, why is my hair green? <laughs> I literally just pranked her. Look at that ridiculous haircut. Felicia, come back. Babes, what's going on? Oh my gosh, what did you do to your hair? I didn't touch my hair. It just turned out like this. What did you do? Oh, I didn't do anything. I was just in the bathroom. Oh no, this is not good. Did somebody break in and do this to my hair then? I don't know, girl, but this hair does not slay. Oh no, this is so bad. Well, uh, I don't really know what to do. I'm sorry. I think we're just gonna have to shave it off. No, not my beautiful hair. I'll just keep the green hair. What, girl? Uh, okay, well, I'm not gonna make you pay. Don't worry, I don't even know what happened. Did you see anybody? No, I didn't. I was busy scrolling on my face. Stop. Oh my gosh, girl, this hair does not slay. I'm so sorry. Well, uh, I hope you have a good rest of your day, girl. <sighs> okay, bye, Felicia. Guys, yes, sir. My first prank went successful. But I'm gonna pull as many pranks as I can because I can't get caught. <laughs> Oh, why are you crying, speaker woman? Hold on, I'm in the bathroom. I'll be out in a second. Oh, gosh, this is kind of bad. My girlfriend's literally crying right now. I feel bad for her. I'm so ugly. 
really don't look at me, cameraman. Hold on, speaker woman. Okay, I'm done. Oh, man, I literally just pushed out the biggest poop ever. It was bigger than the Titanic. Well, uh, speaker woman, where are you? Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Do you see my hair? Oh, my gosh. What happened to your hair? I thought you went to a professional stylist. I did, and then she went to the bathroom, and then my hair turned out like this. She literally didn't even touch it. Oh, my gosh. Do you have some sort of virus or something? Okay, I gotta stay away. No, I don't have a virus. Then how do your hair become that? Because that hair looks so crazy. Somebody must have done it while I was busy scrolling on my phone. Oh, man, that's so bad. Well, uh, do you want me to shave it off or something? No, I don't want to shave off my hair. Oh, okay, speaker woman. Well, I don't really know any way to help you. I'm sorry. Well, uh, do you still want to pull that prank on speaker man? No, I don't want to do that anymore. My day's been ruined. Oh, okay, well, I guess we're not going to do that anymore. Well, I guess let's just watch some TV. And guys, we're literally sitting right there watching TV. Clue is that I was the one that messed up her hair. But since they're sitting ducks right now, I think it's time for me to pull another prank on them. But, huh, what should I do? Uh, speaker woman, do you have any desserts or anything like a pie or a cake or something? Uh, I'm not sure. Let me check the fridge. And it doesn't seem like we have any pies or desserts. I'm sorry. Oh, man. I really want some dessert right now. I need something sugary. Wait a second. That just gave me a great idea. What if I went to the store and bought a pie? And after I did that, I come back here and chuck it on his face. That would be such a hilarious prank, guys. So, you know what? I'm going to pull that off right now. I'm going to head to the store and purchase a pie. And I'm going to come back and chuck it directly on his face. So, I'm just going to go and oh, look. Is that scaredy kid in here again? Well, here. Let me see if they have any pies or anything in huh? I don't see any over here. Well, maybe the kid has some, uh, hello, kid. Do you have any pies? Do you see this pizza? Oh, what the heck? Why is there a floating pizza again? Oh, no, I think the ghost might be back. Well, here, let me try to grab the pizza. Hey, get back your pizza. Hey, hey, this is my pizza, kid. Hey, give me that pizza. Where are you going? No, 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 this is my pizza, kid. I need a pie. Hey, hey, hey. I have trapped the pizza in the corner now. I'm gonna take it. Oh my gosh. I need a pie. Wait a second. Since he's following the pizza, what if I just lead him to the pie and he can give me that? Okay, here. Kid, come directly over here. Hey, wait a second. Where'd the pizza go? Oh, there's the pizza over there. Oh, what are you doing, Mr. Pizza? Where are you going? Kid, pie. I want pie. Uh, pizza, why are you standing over here? Do you want something from the cooler? Yes, I want something from the cooler, kid. Okay, well, I don't even know what this pizza wants. I guess I'll get my ice cream. You want this ice cream pizza? No, no, no. I do not want the ice cream. I want a pie, kid. Okay, well, he's shaking his head now, so I guess he probably wants this. Uh, this is a pie. Do you want this? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, I want that pie. Okay, well, it seems like the pizza just jumped up and said yes. So, uh, I guess he can have the pie. But he has to actually pay this time. Bro, I have to pay our ears. Oh, my gosh. All right. Wait a second. I'm invisible. So, that means I don't even have to pay. And he won't even realize I left. So, here. Let me just steal the pie real fast. And now I can just get out of here. And he won't even notice. So, guys, I'm just gonna head back to the house right now. And I'm gonna chuck this pie directly on his face. And, guys, I'm back at the house. So, I'm just gonna go over here. And, hello, cameraman. Can you see me? And no, I don't think he can see me. All right. Well, I'm just gonna go by and I'm gonna check the pot directly on his face. Oh my gosh, what's on my face? <laughs> I just realized. Uh, cameraman, why do you have a pie on your face? Speaker woman, did you do this? What? No, I've been watching Kitty and Doggy all day. I know you did this, Speaker woman. You literally just put a pie on my face because I literally just asked for a pie. Oh my gosh, now I have to go wash this off. Oh my gosh, guys, this is hilarious. Hey, I told you we had no pies. Why would I throw a perfectly good pie on your face when we could have ate it together? Because you wanted to prank me. You probably think that I made your hair look like that, even though it wasn't even me. What? No, I don't think that. Oh, well, whatever, speaker woman. That wasn't a funny prank, though. I'm just going to wash this off. Hey, stop. Me. Oh my gosh, they're literally arguing. This is so funny, guys. I cannot believe that. I just pranked the both. Wait a second, speaker man. How did you just appear right there? Oh, uh, wait a second. Uh, you guys can see me? Yeah, speaker man. How did you just teleport into our house? Oh, uh, hey, guys. Yeah, that's kind of weird. How did I even get here? Wait a second. That was really freaky. The front door is still closed, and you literally just spawned in the middle of nowhere. Oh, uh, yeah. How could that have happened, guys? And wait a second. Uh, what happened to your hair and your face? Wait a second. Did you do this to me? Uh, hey, did you pie my face? Uh, hey, what's that in your pocket? Oh, uh, nothing. What is this drink? Is this an invisibility potion? Are you serious? You were invisible in prank talks? Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> get prank, guys. Speaker man, do you want to hang out after school with me? Uh, TV woman, I'm sorry, but I can't really. What? Why not? Well, because I have some stuff going on after school. Please, Speaker man, I like you a lot. Yeah, TV woman, I know you like me a lot, but I do not like you back. I'm sorry. What? Why don't you like 
man. I just don't. I'm sorry. Speaker man, you're so mean. No, I'm not mean. Oh, my gosh. You're weird. All right, guys. Class is dismissed. Everybody can go home. Oh, all right, teacher. Thanks a lot. All right. I'm going to head straight home, and I'm going to head straight to bed. And, oh, my gosh. I really do not like that TV woman girl. She is super duper weird. <sighs> and finally, that was such a long walk, but now I'm back home. And I can just go upstairs and lay my bed, and I can go to sleep now. Good night, guys. Speaker man, let me in. Wait, what? Are you serious? TV woman, what are you doing breaking into my house? Well, it doesn't seem like you're doing anything busy. Well, yeah, I was literally just about to go to sleep until you broke into my house. Like, what are you actually doing? Speaker man, I've already told you. I have a huge crush on you. Yes, I know you have a huge crush on me. Well, now can you get out of my house? I don't like you. But why don't you like me back? Just explain. I just don't. You're annoying and weird. <sighs> I'll do anything for you, Pookie Bear. Hey, what? Pookie Bear? No, I'm not a Pookie Bear. That's weird. Please, I'll do anything. Just give me a chance. No, no, no. You're weird. Get out of my house, lady. <laughs> okay, but I'll be back. Just you wait. Okay, whatever. I'm not going to let you inside. Well, here, let me just lock the door and thankfully she left. Oh my gosh, she is so annoying and weird. Why does she even have a huge crush on me? That is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Well, honestly, I don't really want to go to sleep after that just happened, so I'm just going to go roam around the neighborhood and huh, let me go get my car real fast and wait a second. Did she just get a house right next to me? Hey there, speaker man. We're neighbors now. Hey, yo, what? No, no, no. I don't want to be neighbors with you. Well, too bad. I can't move my house. Holy mackerel. Okay, that is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Uh, I think I'm going to head over to my friend TV Man's house so we can talk about this. Okay, that is super duper weird. I'm just going to head over there. Hello, TV Man. Are you home? Oh, who's at my door? Wait a second. Titan Speaker Man. Hey, come in. All right, uh, TV Man. I have something to talk about with you. Uh, yeah. What do you need to talk about? Tell me anything. Well, there's this girl named TV Woman and she is super duper crazy. She's been stalking me all day and she literally bought a house right next to me. What? She bought a house right next to you? Well, maybe she just wants to be your friend or something. No, she wants me to be her boyfriend. What? Her boyfriend? Yeah, her boyfriend. What am I supposed to do? Well, maybe you could just be her boyfriend and she would stop being so crazy. A TV man, she is crazy. That's why I don't want to be her boyfriend. Oh, uh, then I don't really know, speaker man. You're kind of out of luck. What are you serious right now, bro? Knock, knock, knock. Wait a second. Oh my gosh, TV man, she's here right now. Uh, okay, uh, go to my room. Go upstairs. Oh, okay, okay, okay. TV woman is so crazy. She's literally following me everywhere. Oh my gosh, okay, this is bad. Uh, hello there, TV woman. Is everything okay? Yes, everything is fine. I just know that Speaker Man's here and I got him some flowers. Wait a second. You got Speaker Man flowers? Yes, and it's his favorite color, red. Speaker Man, look at this. She's not crazy. She brought you flowers. TV man, TV man, stop it. She's super duper crazy. Trust me. Oh, there you are, Speaker Man. Oh, uh, hey, TV woman. I brought you some flowers. Aren't they so pretty? Uh, no, no, no. I don't like them at all. What? You don't like my flowers? No, honestly, I don't. Can you get away from me, please? No, you have to take my flowers. You are my true love. We are soulmates. What the heck? No, no, no. We're not true love. You're just a stalker. <sighs> I have a crush on you. Now be my boyfriend. Hey, yo, what? No, no. I do not want to be your boyfriend. Get away from me. All right, yeah. TV woman. You need to get out of my house right now or I'm calling the cops. Uh, no. I don't think I'll be leaving. Well, uh, please. Please just put away the gun. All right. Well, Titan Speaker Man, will you please be my boyfriend? I'll literally do anything for you. TV Woman, for the last time, I do not want to be your boyfriend. You're so crazy and creepy. Say that again, mister. Hey, yo, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, Titan TV Woman, that's enough. I'm putting you to sleep. Ah. And now I can take her out of the house. Oh, my gosh. She's so crazy. See, I told you, TV Man. This is literally what I was talking about. But thank you for putting her to sleep. But hopefully when she wakes up, she doesn't stalk me anymore because she is super duper crazy and creepy. Yeah, I'm sorry for letting her inside of the house. Well, I'm just gonna drop her in the middle of the street right here, and hopefully she'll be okay. Yeah, hopefully she will. Well, TV man, thanks for letting me come over, but I have to go run some errands now. All right, speaker man, if you ever need any help, just let me know. All right, thanks a lot. Well, I'm gonna go now. See ya. TV woman is the craziest person I've ever met in my life, and hopefully she doesn't wake up soon, because if she does, I think she's gonna try to do more crazy stuff to be my boyfriend. Well, here, I gotta figure out where the grocery store is. Oh, and finally, I found the grocery store, and hell. Hey there, Jeremy. How's it going, buddy? Oh, hey there, Speaker Man. Welcome back to the grocery store. Hey, thanks for having me while here. I'm going to get some Doritos and some Reese's Bars. And I think that should be it. All right, let me go ahead and see how much this is for you. Uh, okay, let's see. It seems like it's going to be about $10. $10? All right, here, let me grab my wallet. Wait a second. Uh, Jeremy, I kind of forgot my wallet. What? Are you serious? Well, how are you going to pay? I don't really know. Wait a second. There's a bank down the street, so maybe I can just go grab some money from there real fast. Yeah, that's a good idea. Go ahead and grab some money and then come back here. All right.
right, Jeremy. Well, I'll be right back. Trust me. Okay, well, I gotta go to the bank and grab some money real fast. Good for you. I made it to the bank, but wait a second. What is this red bike doing out here? I think I know that bike from somewhere. Wait a second. What is TV Woman doing inside? Give me all your money. Oh, uh, okay. Well, what do you need the money for? I'm gonna buy a present for my boyfriend. Wait, what the heck? She said for boyfriend? What is she talking about me? Oh, my gosh. I gotta put a stop to this. Hey, TV Woman, what are you doing? Oh, hey. I was robbing a bank so I could get you a present. Look how much money I have. What the heck? Okay, here's all the money that we have. Take it. Thank you. Bye. What are you serious, TV Woman? You didn't have to do that for me. I can buy a present for myself. Nope. I'm gonna get you the best present ever. She really just robbed that whole entire bank to get me a present. I wonder what it's gonna be. And, uh, hey, mister, can I get, like, $10, please? Because I really gotta buy these Doritos in this Reese's bar. Dude, I literally just gave that girl all the money in the bank. I can't do anything. Bro, are you serious right now? You don't have $10 to spare? No, I don't have $10. She literally has all the money. Go ask her for it or something. She's buying you a present, right? Yeah, I guess she is. All right, you're a weirdo. See ya. TV woman is so crazy. She just robbed the bank to give me a gift. But I really wonder what the gift is gonna be. Wait a second. What is a bright red car doing coming straight towards me? Speaker man, here's your gift. It's a $200,000 car. Hey, what? A $200,000 car? Are you serious? Yep, I'm serious. Here are the keys. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, my gosh. You're literally so crazy. I don't want to be your boyfriend. What? Be my boyfriend, speaker man. I've literally done so much for you. I know you've done so much for me, but I didn't want any of it. And you're just doing it because you're crazy. Aw, you guys are so cute. Speaker man and TV woman, you guys make a great couple. Thank you. We do. Skippy Toilet, I do not like her at all. She's crazy. I was just joking. I bet she doesn't even like you. You're so fat. What? I'm not fat? What are you talking about? Did you just call my boyfriend fat? Hey, hey, hey. Put away the gun. Put away the gun. Take this. Oh. TV woman, what are you doing? Why are you shooting Skippy Toilet? Because he called you fat, and you're not fat. You're perfect just the way you are, speaker man. I know, but you didn't have to shoot him. You're so crazy. I'm getting away from you, but thanks for the car. Hey, get back. Here. No, see ya. Be my boyfriend. What? No, you're still chasing me. Are you serious? Oh, no. Okay, okay. I gotta lock the doors. Ah! Why did he break into my house? Finally, we're all alone together. I don't want to be alone with you. Come on, you better be my boyfriend. I've done so much for you. I put my life on the line so many times just for you. Yeah, but you didn't have to. And put away that gun, please. I don't want to get shot. And I already told you I didn't like you. Why are you even doing all this? Because I want to be your boyfriend. Oh, I got to get out of here. Uh, get back here. Hey, oh, wait a second. What the heck? What is the tank doing right here? Hey, TV woman, you thought you could kill me? Give yeah, toilet. How are you alive? Because Skippity Toilet never dies. Ah! Oh my gosh, Skippity Toilet, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem, Speaker Man. It seemed like you needed help from this crazy lady. Yeah, I sure did. You're a lifesaver. Well, Speaker Man, do you want to be friends? Uh, yeah, sure. I guess we can be friends. Oh, life is so good. I could have sleep in every single day and do nothing all day. Secret man, wake up. This is my fifth time trying to tell you to do your chores today. I'm getting fed up with you. What, mom? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. But I don't want to do my chores. See ya. Hey, get out of your bed, mister. I've honestly had it up to here with you. I'm thinking of kicking you out of our house. Wait, what? Kicking me out of your house? But mom, I didn't do anything. Yeah, that's the point. You never do anything. You're so lazy and poor. Oh, mom, you're so annoying. Well, I'm just gonna sleep here. Bye. Okay, son, honestly, you're out. Go pack a bag and you can come home when you're rich. Wait, what, Mom? You're kicking me out of the house? That's what I just said. But, Mom, you're so annoying. I literally have zero dollars to my name right now. Well, can I take the supercar? No, you cannot take my supercar. Now, take this bag and fill it with some stuff that you will need. Are you kidding me, Mom? This small bag? Well, let's see what I even have. Uh, okay, I literally got nothing. Well, can I put these pillows in there? No, those are my pillows. You can only put stuff that you own. Yeah, but I literally own nothing. Oh, my gosh. You're annoying, Mom. Well, I guess I'll just come back to you when I'm rich. See ya. Okay, bye. Oh, my. My mom is literally so annoying. I should not have been kicked out of the house for being poor. But now it seems like I have to get some jobs to get super duper rich. And after I get rich, I can go back home. So let's see, uh huh? What should my first job be? Bok, bok, bro. Kevin Gushy stores hiring. Wait a second. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. Hey there, Mr. Chicken. Can I get a job here? Oh, hey there. You want a job at the grocery store? Yeah, I really do because I literally got kicked out of my house and I'm poor right now. All right, go ahead and go inside. Oh, uh, okay, Mr. Chicken. And hey there, TV woman. Can I get a job here? Uh, I guess you can have a job here, but don't you have a lot of money? Why would you need a job? Well, I kind of got kicked out of my mom's house and I'm poor, so that's why I need a job. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, you can start your job right now if you would like. Oh, really? Thanks a lot, TV woman. Well, I guess I'll just be the cashier. Just don't steal any money. All right, I won't. Trust me. And I'm gonna go take a break. Bye! 
Hi. See ya. And guys, it seems like I'm a cashier now, so let's see how much money I make. And hopefully I become rich from this job, and hopefully I don't mess anything up. Good morning. Oh, look, it's our first customer. Uh, hey there, kid. Hello, I'm here to get my Doritos. Oh, good to hear. Well, just grab them and come up to the front desk so you can buy some Doritos. Oh, wait, psych, I'm taking them. Bye. Wait a second, kid. No, 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 you cannot steal. Hey, get back here, kid. Yummy Doritos. Oh, kid, get over here. Ha, <laughs> too, wait, I'm finished. Them. Wait, what? Are you serious? You just go and finish the Doritos? Yeah, I finished the whole bag. What? Can you pay at least because I'm literally going to get fired for my first job? No, I can't pay you. I actually don't have any money. Then why would he even come in the store? Oh my gosh, you're a weird kid. Bye-bye. What? Oh man. Well, that's a great way to start off my job. I literally just got stolen from. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen again because I think if it happens one more time I literally get fired from my job. Oh, hey there, kid. Uh, could you get me some groceries? Oh, uh, hey there, old man. Guys, it seems like there's another customer here. I right know. Yeah. Sure, I can get you some groceries. What would you like, mister? Yeah, I would like all your money. Give me all your money. Hey, yo, what? He has a gun. Hey, hey, hey. Now let me go to the cash register and take everything. No, old man. Stop it. Uh, take this, old man. Oh, uh, that hurts. Ha, that's what you get, old man. Never try to steal from the store ever again. Speaker man, what'd you do? Oh, hey, TV woman. Look, I just saved the store from a robber. It's not a robber. He's an old man. Now get off of him. Wait, what? No, he is a robber. He literally stole so much money. Oh, my back. Uh, I'm gonna sue you, tight speaker man. Yeah, good luck with that. I have zero dollars to my name. Uh, 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 I stole all the money. Wow, TV woman. I literally had him down there. He stole all the cash money. I don't even care if he stole all the money. He's just an old man. You're fired. Wait, what? I'm fired for protecting the store? Are you serious right now? Yes, and do not come back. Well, am I gonna get paid at least? Yeah, here's one dollar. What? One dollar? Are you serious right now? Oh my god. This job sucked anyway. See ya. Oh, I literally just tried to save the store from a robber. And then I got fired because it was an old man that I just beat up. And honestly, it doesn't really seem like these jobs are working for me. So maybe I can start a business and get rich that way, huh? But what even would my business be? Let me think. Oh, Sparky, you're such a good boy. Wait a second. What if I made a dog walking business? Hey, dude, I have a question for you. Oh, uh, yeah. What is your question? Oh, uh, how much would you pay someone to walk your dog? Well, I don't know. Maybe I could pay them like a hundred dollars. Hey, what? One hundred dollars? Oh, okay. Well, uh, can I maybe walk your dog sometime? Uh, yeah, sure. I actually need him to get walked right now. Wait, really? Uh, all right. I guess I can walk your dog. All right, perfect. Here's his leash. All right, thanks a lot. And by the way, what's your doggy's name? His name is Sparky. Oh, all right. And is there anything I should know about Sparky? No, not really. Just when you're done walking him, come back to my house. My house is right up there. Oh, uh, okay. Thanks a lot. Yep, no problem. Have fun, Sparky. See ya, dude. And I cannot wait to get so rich and sparky. You are the first dog I've ever walked ever. So hopefully nothing bad happens. But oh my gosh, I've been walking for a super long time so I'm just gonna sit down here and sparky Get right here, boy. Do not move. And by the way guys, after this, I think I should be worth $101. But to be considered rich, I think I'm gonna have to have $1,000. So I'm only one-tenth of the way there, but don't worry. I'll get there soon. Anyways, that was a good break, but now it's time for me to get back to work. Wait a second. Where did sparky just go? Oh no. This is not gonna roll. Sparky literally just ran away. Sparky, where are you? Hello? Oh my gosh, I forgot dogs can't even talk. Where did Sparky just go? Oh man. If I were a dog, where would I be? Let's think. Well, here, let's check the pool because dogs like to swim for some reason and no, he's not in the pool. Oh my gosh, this is super, super bad. That guy's literally gonna kill me. So I'm gonna have to find Sparky fast and I'm gonna have to search everywhere. Well, here's the police station so maybe I can file a report on the missing doggy. And uh, hey, Mrs. This police woman, I have an urgent report to file. Oh, hello. What is it? Well, I was walking a dog and he literally just ran away. So, can you help me find him? Uh, sorry, kid. I can only file a missing report. What? Are you serious? Well, please help me. It's super duper urgent. Because if I don't find him, I'll lose out on $100 and then I'm pretty sure the guy's gonna kill me. Well, there are hundreds of missing dogs around here, so it's gonna be pretty hard to find one little dog. But please, woman, please. Uh, here. How about I give you like $20 out of the $100 I get? Oh, wait a second. That's more than I get paid hourly. Sure. Wait, really? Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Well, Mrs. Police 
Holman, do you have a car that we can ride in? Uh, yes, I do outside. Come on, follow me. Okay, thanks a lot, and hopefully we can find this missing dog. And now let's find your missing dog. All right, Mrs. Policewoman, and wait a second. That old man that was just right there, he literally robbed the store that I was working at for so much money. Okay, here, let me talk to him. All right, Mrs. Policewoman, and wait a second. Hey, old man, that's a dog. Oh, look who it is. It's Titan Speaker Man. What do you mean it's a dog? I know it's a dog. It's literally my dog. No, it's not. It was the dog that I was walking. Sir, you're under arrest for stealing the dog. What? What do you mean I'm under arrest? Hey, stop it. Yeah, this is what you get for stealing. Never steal ever again. Uh, you won't see the last of me. Yeah, whatever you say, old man. Well, thanks a lot, Mrs. Policewoman. I'm just gonna head back to that guy's house so I can return this dog. See ya. Okay, bye. Get home safely. <laughs> Thankfully, I got Sparky back in a way to second. I think I owe that police woman $20. And yeah, whatever. I don't think she'll realize. Well, let's just head back to that guy's house and hopefully he can pay me. And knock, knock, knock. Is anyone home? Oh, I wonder who could be at my dog. Oh, hey there, Titan Speaker Man. Hey there. I'm back with your dog. Oh, uh, thank you so much for walking him. Was he a good boy? Yeah, he was. All right, good. And thank you so much for walking my dog once again. Yeah, no problem. I'll walk him anytime. So here's your $100. And I'm also going to give you a $1,000 tip. Hey, yo, what? $1,000 tip? No way. Yes, wait. Don't worry. I'm super duper rich. You can see my mansion. Oh, yeah. This house is super duper big. Well, thanks a lot. Yep, no problem. Here you go. Well, thanks a lot, mister. You do not know how much this means to me. Well, now I'm going to go back to my house and see if I can live with my mom again since I'm rich now. And oh, I'm back home. Knock, 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 mom. Uh, who could be at the door? Speaker, man, why are you back home? Hey, mom, I'm rich now, so I'm back home. What? You're rich? Well, that was fast. Yeah, I know, mom. Well, honestly, this whole time, I didn't care if you were rich. I just wanted you to get out of the house because you're so lazy. What? Are you serious right now, mom? Uh, good morning, world. Today is gonna be so awesome. But to start out with my day, I'm gonna go downstairs and get some food. Uh, TV man, my stomach hurts super bad. Wait a second. What? Is that my mom? Her stomach hurts super bad? Don't worry, Titan TV woman. You're gonna be okay. Oh my gosh. Oh no, this is bad. My mom's stomach hurts so bad. Uh, maybe I should go check in on them. Uh, hey mom, why does your stomach hurt? Uh, I don't know, some, but guys, I think I'm about to throw up. All right, you're going to the bathroom. Oh my gosh, this is bad, mom. Please be okay. Ugh, ew, that stinks so bad. Oh, that's so disgusting. Well, uh, are you okay? No, I think I should go to the hospital. Wait, what? Go to the hospital? All right, we're going to the hospital. Come on. Titan speaker, man, follow us. All right, Dad. Oh, my gosh. This is so bad. Hopefully, Mom's going to be all right. Quick, get in the car. All right, Dad. Hopefully, your mom's going to be all right. I don't know what's wrong with her. We're going to have to go see her at the hospital. Guys, come on. It's hurting so bad. Come on, Mom. Just hang in there. We're about to be in the hospital any second now. All right, we're here. Now, quick, bring your mom inside. All right, Mom, here. Get inside fast. Hey, doctor, quick. Please help my mom. She feels she would be sick right now. All right, do we know why she's feeling sick? No, we don't know why, but she was like throwing up and stuff, and her stomach super hurts. All right, well, let's go get a room. Come on, fast. All right, doctor, I'll be right behind you. Okay, let's go inside of this room, and mom will lay on that bed ASAP. Oh, okay, I don't feel good. Don't worry, lady. We're gonna run some tests on you. Oh, no, hopefully the results are gonna come back good, mom. So, Titan TV woman, when did this start happening? Uh, I don't know, probably this morning. All right, all right, let me take a look. Okay, let me listen to your heart. Okay, your heart sounds fine. Now, let me listen to your stomach. Wait a second. Why is there a heartbeat inside your stomach? Wait, a heartbeat inside of your stomach, Mom? What? Do I have two hearts? Uh, I don't know. Here, uh, let me do an ultrasound real quick. Okay, so let me take a look and wait a second. What even is that thing? Doc, what do you see down there? It seems like it's a baby. Huh, a baby? Huh, a baby? Yeah, a baby. Uh, it seems like you're pregnant. No, no, no. This cannot be right. Yep, I'm serious. You have a baby inside of your stomach. Holy mackerel, Mom. I'm gonna be a brother. Yes, that's awesome, Titan Speaker Man, but we don't have anything ready. Wait, we don't have anything? Anything ready? Well, uh, Dad can run to the store and get some stuff for you. No, Dad has to stay home with me. You gotta go by yourself, honey. What are you serious? Oh, my gosh, Mom. Here's a list of everything I need you to get. Uh, okay, Mom, let me see. What is on this list? All right, so I have to shop for new clothes for Mom and then shop for baby stuff. And the last one, I need to shop for some groceries. Uh, all right, Mom, I think I can do this. And after I'm dead, I'll bring it back home. And hopefully, I'll have a baby brother by then. Yeah, hopefully, you will. Well, your baby's actually going to be born in an hour, so I would probably get on it. Hey, yo, what? One hour? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Well, I gotta get this list done fast. Yep, you sure do. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, what's the first thing on this list? Huh, let me see. So first, I need to shop for some new clothes for mom. So, um, where even is the clothing store? Let me see. Maybe it's right here. It says ice cream. Okay, well, I'm gonna go into the ice cream store and maybe they sell some clothes here. Oh, let me just go inside real fast and, uh, hello there, Mr. Worker. Do you sell clothes here? Do I sell clothes here? Uh, I don't even know. This is in my ice cream shop. I just broke in here. Ice cream? What even is ice cream. It's the most tastiest thing in the world. What? The most tastiest thing in the world? Well, okay. Can 
can I maybe try some? Yeah, what flavor do you want? Uh, can I have this flavor right here, the rainbow one? Uh, yeah, I can give you the rainbow one. Uh, all right, thanks. And, uh, by the way, do you know where they sell clothes? Do I know where they sell clothes? Uh, I don't even know. What? Are you kidding me, kid? Can you maybe help me find the clothing store? Because my mom is pregnant right now, and she really needs some clothes. Uh, okay, I can help you. Do you need clothes like me because I look so cool? Uh, yeah, maybe that will work. I don't really know. Well, here, show me where the clothing store is. All right, follow me. Uh, okay, kid. Yeah, let's go to the clothing store. Well, we're at the clothing store now. Yeah, I know, kid. Well, we're even as a person. Oh, hello there, guys. Welcome to my clothing store. Uh, hey there, missus. I'm here to shop for some clothes for my mom. Do you have any girl clothes? Oh, yes, right here. If you look right here, we have all the girl clothes. Oh, look at me. I look fashionable. Oh, yeah, kid. You kind of do look fashionable. Here, uh, let me try some clothes on for my mom because she really needs some. Well, here, let me try to put it on in. Oh, my gosh. It doesn't even fit. Well, since they don't fit on you, I could try on the clothes for your mom if you want to. Wait, what? You'll try on the clothes for my mom? Uh, okay, yeah, sure. All right, so let me know how you like this. What? What even is that? Why would my mom wear those clothes? Well, I don't know. What clothes does she even want? I'm not really sure, dude. Well, Mrs., do you have any other clothes? Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. If you want some cheaper clothes, because I guess you're poor, you can go over to this section. What? Are you serious? We're not poor. Well, uh, do you think your mom would like this outfit? Uh, honestly, that doesn't look that bad. Yeah, I guess she'll like that outfit. All right, then let's go get it for her. Okay, well, Mrs., how much is the outfit going to cost right here? Oh, that outfit would be $6. $6? Uh, do you have any money? Uh, no, I don't have any money. Do you have any money? I only have ice cream cone. Well, guys, how are you supposed to pay? If you don't have any money, well, uh, I'm actually just going to leave. What, kid? You're running away? Okay, well, I'll see you, lady. Hey, get back here. Catch us if you can. And, kid, I'm pretty sure my mom's going to love that clothes so much. Yeah, me too. It looks so awesome on me. It's going to look so awesome on her. Yeah, it sure will. Well, kid, I have one more thing on my list, so let's see what it is. And it says right here, I have to go grocery shopping for some groceries. All right, kid. And after that, we're gonna have to head to the hospital because I think my mom's gonna have the baby by then. Okay, let's go get groceries. Yeah, let's go do this, kid. And now we're at the grocery store and kid. While we're here, I think we should shop for some baby stuff as well. All right, let's do it. Yeah, because my mom's gonna have a baby soon. What do you think the baby would like to eat? Uh, maybe Doritos. What, Doritos? Are you serious? Okay, well, I'll just get some of these for the baby. Uh, and maybe they have some cards here or something. Let's see. Is there any cards here? And no. Uh, well, my mom is really gonna need a card for the baby to push around. Yeah, wait a second. I can literally just get my mom a shopping cart for the baby. Yeah, that's a great idea. You can push the baby around in here. Yeah, I sure can. Well, let's go check out. Hello, missus. Can we buy the stuff? Oh, hello. Yes, you may. All right, we're buying Doritos, and we also want the shopping cart. Oh, I'm sorry. You cannot take the shopping cart. The store owns them. Uh, well, my mom is literally about to have a baby in, like, less than one hour now, and she's gonna have to push her out of the baby somehow, so I'm gonna take the shopping cart. Oh, well, if your mom's having a baby, why don't you buy her a stroller? Well, because we literally got no money, and we're just gonna get out of here. Bye. Hey, get back here. Wait a second. What are you doing? You're learning a lot of steel, and I'm going to teach you a lesson, so I'm going to kidnap you. Wait, what? You're going to kidnap me? You heard me right. Hey, kid, save me. Wait a second. Where did that kid go with my mom's clothes? Are you serious? He just ran away. <laughs> this is what you get for stealing. But my mom's going to give birth in a few minutes. I, I got to get to the hospital. Too bad, kid. You're going into my secret dungeon. What? Your secret dungeon? Oh, my gosh. I won't be able to see my new baby brother ever. Shh, be quiet, kid. I don't care about your mom having a baby. Oh, my God. Gosh, okay, okay. I'm sorry, missus. What can I do to make it up to you? Just sit here and be quiet and don't move. Oh my gosh, this is bad. I always got kidnapped and my baby brother's gonna be born any minute now. I have to get out of here, but huh, what can I do? Let me think. Oh, uh, maybe I can distract her. Uh, hey, girl. Look over there. There's a rat on the ground. Ew, a rat? Yeah, a rat. Oh my gosh, okay, okay. I'm gonna get out of here. Hey, kid, where are you going? I was just joking. I love rats. Oh my gosh, she loves rats. I thought that would have worked. Well, girl, can I just roam around this area a little bit? Yeah, you can, but I'm gonna have my eye on you. Uh, okay, girl. Well, huh? Let me see. Well, there's a tunnel out there, but I don't want to go in there because I'll literally get shooted. Well, huh? Let me go in here. And there's a light right here, but wait a second. What if I turn off the light? Oh my gosh. Okay, here. Let me do that real fast. And wait. There is a secret exit down here. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go down. And what is this? Oh my gosh. There's literally a security monitor right here. Okay, I'm gonna go on it. And what? See the girls right there? She's just dancing. I don't know why she's not following me. Well, here. I think I can literally access the whole entire town's camera. Oh my gosh. Oh, I gotta figure out where my son is. Wait a second. Is that my dad? He's trying to find me? No way. Titan speaker, man. Where are you? Oh my gosh. My dad is literally looking for me. I'm kidnapped right now. Oh man. Hopefully he can find me. Oh no. Let me go to the grocery store and see if he's in here. Oh my gosh. My dad is literally going to the grocery store. Wait a second. What is the girl doing? She's literally outside of the place. She trapped me in and she's going inside of the grocery store with her gun. Oh, hello, sir. Welcome to the grocery store. Oh, uh, hey there. Have you seen my son anywhere? He was supposed to be here. Uh, no. I'm so sorry. I haven't. Are you sure you haven't seen him? Uh, he looks like a speaker. He's a Titan speaker man. Uh, sorry, sir. No, I haven't seen him. 
him. Oh my gosh, well, my wife is having a baby and I really need him. So if you see me, uh, just let me know. Okay, sir, don't worry, I will. And oh my gosh, that girl just lied to my dad and wait. She's outside of the dungeon, so maybe I can escape now. <gasps> okay, here, let me just hop out and let's see. Where can I even go in? Oh, wait, what? Are you serious? This place is locked. Oh no, this is so bad. Well, wait a second. I'm literally a tiny speaker, man. What am I saying? I can literally make a speaker noise and my dad can find me. Okay, here, let me do this. <sighs> Wait a second. Titan Speaker Man just made a noise. Speaker Man, I'm coming. Dad, save me. I'm in this dungeon. All right, don't worry, Titan Speaker Man. I'm coming again. All right, I'm inside of this room. Uh, where are you? I'm down here in this small room. All right, well, how do I help you? Dad, turn off the light. Turn off the light. Uh, okay, okay, okay. And yes, Titan Speaker Man. Dad, thank you so much for saving me. Yeah, no problem. Well, we have to get to the hospital fast. Your mom's having a baby. What? She's having it right now. Wait a second. Dad, this is the girl that kidnapped me. Hey, who? Who are you? I'm the grocery store worker, and you're not taking your son out of here. What? Why am I not taking him out of here? Because he stole from my store. Wait a second. You stole from her store? Yeah, Dad. I was trying to shop for the baby and Mom, but I didn't have any money. Look. I had to steal the shopping cart so Mom could put the baby in it, and I got some Doritos for the baby. Oh, tight speaker, man. I can't believe that you did that. You could have just asked me for some money. Well, uh, I'm sorry, Miss Lady. My son will never do that ever again. Now, could we please leave? No, you're not going anywhere, and if you do, you're going to get it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, we'll just stay here. Don't worry. Dad, what are we gonna do? I don't know, Titan Speaker Man. Your mom is about to give birth to your brother. Well, uh, let me think. You have your speaker powers, right? Yeah, I do, Dad. All right, well, how about I use my TV powers and you use your speaker powers and we can knock her out? Wait a second. That's a great idea, Dad. Yeah, let's do it. And hey, girl, we have something to tell you. Oh, what is it? You are going down. <sighs> Oh my god! Yes, Dad, we need to feed her. Now we gotta go to the hospital fast. Mom's giving birth. Yeah, come on, quick, let's go see your brother. Yeah, let's do this, Dad. Hurry, tight speaker man, hop in the car fast. All right, Dad, yeah, now let's go to the hospital. Quick, get inside, your mom's giving birth. All right, Dad, I'm going inside fast. Oh my gosh, I wonder what my baby brother looks like. Let's go see. Hello, Mom. Son, here's your new baby brother. Oh, uh, Mom, why does he look like that? Uh, I don't know, he's just special. Oh, uh, okay, uh, hey there, baby brother. Go, 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 go. Oh, look how cute you are, son. Now we just have to put a TV on your head. All right, class. Today, we're going to be doing mathematics. Oh, I love mathematics. And speaker Man, since you love math so much, do you know the answer to this question? The answer to this question, well, one plus one, huh? I think one plus one equals window. Uh, no, that is very incorrect. Oh, you're so dumb. Hey, TV Man, I'm not dumb. You're dumb. You didn't even get the answer correct. The answer is two. What? No, the answer isn't two. Well, actually, the answer is two. What? Are you serious? The answer is two? See, I told you you were incorrect. Oh, Oh, I'm so much better than you at math. Are you serious? What? I'm not even that dumb. Oh, my gosh. Well, hey, teacher, give me another question. All right, what is 9 plus 10? 9 plus 10, uh, let me think. I think the answer to this equation is 21. What? You can't be serious, speaker man. That is the wrong answer. Uh, no, TV man, it is not the wrong answer. Stop making fun of me. You are literally so dumb. The answer is 19, teacher. You are correct once again, TV man. What? Are you kidding me? That is not the correct answer. Well, sadly it is. Don't worry, speaker man, you'll get the hang of it. Oh my gosh, you're so mean. I'm going to cry. All right, go cry, little baby. <laughs> you're such a meanie. Oh my gosh. I hate him so much. I'm just going to go cry in the bathroom. <laughs> I'm so upset. Oh, hello there, Titan Speaker Man. Uh, who are you? I'm Skibbity Toilet. Oh, yes, Skibbity Toilet. Well, what are you doing in this toilet? Well, I'm a toilet, so I have to be in the bathroom. What brings you in today? Well, honestly, Skibbity Toilet, I'm just super duper sad because TV Man keeps bullying me. What? Titan TV Man keeps bullying you? Yeah, he is such a big bully, and he keeps calling me dumb. Well, why is he calling you dumb? Well, because I literally got the math equation wrong two times in a row. But don't worry, I have a way that can make you not as dumb. Wait, what, do you really? Well, what is it? Well, since Titan TV Man is so smart, I can turn you into Titan TV Man. No way, can you really? Yep, I sure can. All right, well, how? Well, what I need you to do is go ahead and sit on this toilet right here. Oh, uh, okay, I'll sit on the toilet. And when I flush the toilet, you should go down with it, and then you'll come back on this Titan TV Man. Man, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, Skippy Toilet. All right, here goes nothing. Whoa! Oh, I feel kind of weird, Skippy Toilet. Wait a second, I'm TV Man now. Yep, you sure are. Thanks a lot, Skippy Toilet. Oh my gosh, now I can cause so much havoc and get revenge.
edge on him. But let's see, is he still in school? Huh, I'm gonna go to the pool and swim all day. Oh my gosh, he's literally leaving right now. Okay, okay. Well, guys, today I'm literally gonna pretend to be and I'm gonna ruin this whole entire life. It's gonna be so funny. But, uh -huh, what should I do first? Let me think. Huh, maybe I should steal his car first. Oh my gosh, look, he has such a tiny car right here. And I can literally stop inside it. I'm gonna go drive to his house. And I'm gonna prank his whole entire family as him. And oh my gosh, this is their house right here. And it's so big. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna go up these stairs and I'm gonna sneak inside of the house and hopefully none of his parents are home. And oh man, his dad is right there. Oh man, I'm so tired. My back hurts so bad. Okay, well, I'm just gonna try to sneak in here and oh my gosh, they somehow don't see me. Oh, hey, tiny TV man. Oh my gosh, they saw me. Uh, hey guys. Yeah, I came home early today because uh, the school is out. Oh, school's out? Okay. Well, why does your voice sound way high pitched? Yeah, that's kind of weird. Oh, well, guys, they were having a party at school today and I, I drank helium. What? How do you drink helium? You're literally a TV. Oh, uh, I mean, I'm sick, Dad. Oh, you're sick? Okay. Well, hopefully you feel better. Well, me and your mom are just gonna relax on this couch. Okay, Mom and Dad, have fun. And oh my gosh, okay, where even is my room? Let's see. Where could his room be? No, this is in his room right here. Well, maybe they have an upstairs area. Uh, hey, Mom and Dad, I'm just gonna head to my room. All right, have a fun time. Yep, I will. And okay, this is not my room. This is literally the bathroom. Come on, where is this? And what? Are you kidding me? Is this the only room here? Hey, um, guys, where's my room? Where's your room? What do you mean, where's your room? Oh, uh, sorry, Dad. I kind of forgot where it was. Oh, that's really weird. Well, uh, your room's right here. What? My room is right here? Yeah, we're TVs. You literally could sleep anywhere. What? Are you serious right now? I don't want to sleep on the ground, Dad. What? What do you mean? You've been sleeping here for three years. Oh, yeah. I guess I have. Silly me. Oh, my gosh, guys. This is so weird. Why does TV man sleep on the ground outside? That's super duper weird. Well, Dad, honestly, uh, I'm kind of bored of being home right now, so I'm just going to drive around the neighborhood. All right. Have a fun time driving around. Do not crash. Oh, okay, Dad. I won't trust me. Wait a second. That just gave me a good idea. What if I literally crash TV Man's car? I can literally destroy it. That would be hilarious. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna drive around for a little bit, and then I'm gonna crash it. This is gonna be so funny, but honestly, first, I think I'm gonna go stop at the grocery store, and maybe I can prank some people here. Alright, so I'm just gonna go inside of the grocery store now. Hey, guys! Oh, TV Man, welcome back. I guess it's your second time you've been here today. Oh, uh, hey, yeah, uh, yeah, that's my second time being here today. Oh, no. This is bad TV TV man was literally here today. Uh, why do you sound so weird? Oh, uh, for no reason, Miss Lady. Oh, man. Hey, what's up, TV man? I just saw you at the pole. What the heck? Who even is this guy? Oh, uh, hey there. Are you still coming back to my house later tonight? Am I coming back to your house? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be there. Don't worry. All right. See you then. Bye, Miss Grocery Store Worker. Bye there, Jeremiah. And phew, that was a close one. So I guess I have two things to do. I'm going to crash his car. And then after I'm done crashing his car, I guess I'll just go to that guy's house. Well, here, let me see. Maybe I can steal some stuff. That would be so funny. Okay, well, what is their expensive to steal? Let's see. Wait a second. These water bottles literally cost like $15 a pop. Okay, well, I'm just gonna grab some of this and, uh, I'm just gonna sneak out. Uh, hey, lady. Oh, hey there, TV man. You must be loving that water a lot. Uh, yeah, I love this water. Yeah, it's your second time getting it today. How weird. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of weird. Well, that'll be $15. $15, alright. Oh my gosh, guys, I don't even have any money. Uh, well, girl, wait a second. Look behind you. There's a scary monster. Oh my gosh, a scary monster. Where? Oh, okay. Okay, okay, I gotta run. See ya. Hey, come back. Here. No, you can't get me. Oh my gosh. I literally just stole from the store and this water bottle was $15. It's so expensive. Well, now I think I'm just gonna go crash this car and after that I can go to that guy's house. And I wonder what's happening there. But, uh huh, where should I even crash this car? Let me think. Wait a second. What if I crash it in the pool? Okay. Well, wait a second. I think TV Man's actually there and eh, whatever. I'm just gonna run it straight into the pool. Yes, sir. Wait, the pool is so much fun. Well, wait a second. What is my car doing inside of here? Oh my gosh. Okay, he's actually here. I gotta run. Wait, is this even my car? Wait a second. It has the same license plate. It's my car. How did my car fall into the water? Oh my gosh. He just knows that his car's in the water. What do I gotta do? Wait a second. Is that my twin brother? What? He's looking at me. Oh, uh, hey there. Brother, no way. Is that actually you? I didn't know I have a twin brother. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're brothers. Well, this is so amazing. Do you live in this neighborhood? Do I live here? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I live in the neighborhood. Well, we should totally be friends because we are literally like the same exact species. Uh, yeah, sure, I guess we can be friends. All right, yeah, let's be friends. You want to come to my friend Jeremiah's house later today? Jeremiah's house? Oh, uh, yeah, sure, what's happening there? Oh, uh, you know, we're just gonna have the best party ever. What, the best party ever? Uh, okay, yeah, sure, I'm down. All right, come with me. Uh, okay, yeah, when is this party? Well, we're celebrating his birthday, of course. What is his birthday today? Uh, okay. So let me ring the doorbell, Jeremiah's, are you home? Oh, hello, you must be Jeremiah.
Jeremiah's friend. Yeah, uh, hello there, Jeremiah's mom. We're here for his birthday party. Oh, well, you boys come right inside. All right, thank you so much. You can go ahead and go to Jeremiah's room. He will be here soon. All right, thanks a lot, Jeremiah's mom. Okay, well, let's head off to his room. I think his room is upstairs, and this is probably his room right here. Well, Jeremiah's has a cool room. Yeah, he sure does. Well, while we're waiting for Jeremiah's, how about we play a game? A game? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. I guess we can play a game. All right, let's play Truth or Dare. Truth or Dare? Okay, sure. Well, who's going first? You're going first, obviously. Uh, okay, yeah, I guess I can go first. Well, I dare you to take off your helmet. What? Oh, uh, no, no, no. My head doesn't come off. Well, what do you mean your head doesn't come off? I thought it was like a costume or something. What? No, why would this be a costume? Well, because you look exactly like me. Are you sure your TV can't come off your head here? Let me try to pull it off. No, 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 no. Do not try to pull it off. Hey, I said let me pull it off. No, dude, stop it. I said let me pull it off. Wait a second, speaker man. What are you doing? Oh, uh, hey there, TV man. Speaker man, what are you doing inside of Jeremiah's house? Oh, uh, I'm doing nothing, TV man. And why were you dressed up like me? Uh, for no reason. Wait a second. Were you the one that drove my car into the water? Uh, maybe. Oh, I'm gonna get you. Oh, my gosh, guys. Make sure to watch this video on the screen right now to save me from him.